Crohn's. Uh, my Crohn's is kicking in. <laughs> Your what is kicking in? My Crohn's. My Crohn's. What's my Crohn's? My my my, Crohn's. my personal Crohn's. My Crohn's disease. Oh, your Crohn's disease? Yeah, yeah. Well, I only get it when I drink like whiskey. Like <laughs> that's how it works. The night before, like last of Lone Star and Chili. Yeah. Lone that's, Star and Chili does it too. Yeah, that's kicks in my Crohn's. Is it triggers? That's a trigger for my Crohn's. Yeah, kicks right in. So, right so when that happens, would it? You turn into the Hulk or something, or no, no, no. Just, uh, just that, that's that. I mean, my butt does. Oh, I, oh, I see that's going. Yeah. yeah, no, yeah. What? It's, this is gonna be fun. I can see it already. It's, it's yeah. Crohn's disease. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Crohn's of the so asshole. Like yeah. Yeah. No, no. I only get it, but I only, I only get Crohn's when I drink lots like this. After all this, and then I, like a can of bean dip. I'm gonna have Crohn's oh, tomorrow. Man. Bean dip with that. Yeah, really? well, not, 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 I'm not mixing it in oh, there. No, no, that's not what I meant. I mean, well, why drink, not? drink it with, with bean dip? Yeah, that's well, crazy shit. Yeah. Well, yeah, let's yeah, say I mean, no to that. Yeah. All right. That's how we do it. We're live, so I'll be out. Oh, hey, how you doing? We're talking about Crohn's. <laughs> talking about Crohn's. Hey, call in right now if you've got Crohn's and you want to talk about it. <laughs> call you live? Huh? We're calling live? Yeah, going live. Oh, I had to make my introductions. Episode number 90 of the Cobra Cast podcast with me, your designated driver, Bobby Sheridan. You alright? Yeah, I agree. Oh, I thought you were talking. Like, no, this is my time. Anyways, you yeah. want to introduce yourself? Oh, I thought you were going to do it. Oh, I, I can see. do that too. No, I, you just made it sound like you were going to do something. I just want to see what you. I just no, see you're going to take me a second to realize he was waiting for you to talk. No, no, no. no, 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 no that's messing with him. Dead time. That's we got, that time. We have the members. We got Apollo Flores here. Oh, oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, okay. Well, I'll, I'll do it, I'll go. do it, I'll do it. All right, well, you, yeah, you. We got Pablo and Scott from Worm Suicide and their lovely friend, Beth. Beth. How's yeah. that? That's good. That's oh, there That's you go, good. okay, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. She wouldn't Because she's not officially part of Worm Suicide. She wouldn't sit in the car. She was Why like, should she sit in the car? <laughs> she should be, she'd be, she'd be hanging with us. That's well, I mean, now, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. She drove us here, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're the designated driver. <laughs> yes. So yes. you could be my co-pilot for the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody's very good. Turn her up so I can hardly hear how are you guys doing? We're doing well. We're doing well. We're having a good time. We're having a good time already. Yeah, we got here early, so we were drinking out in the, your front yard for, like, was. for like 25 minutes. Was it 25 minutes, really? It was a while, yeah. Yeah, it was a long oh, time. Oh, man, I was in the shower, so. No, and that's what we said. We, I was like, we're not going to go knock on your door because you said 7.15, right? Yeah, I, I have this like this ritual that I do. I kind of like come and I do all this stuff, and then I go take a shower, and by like 7 o'clock, I'm ready. Drop the crones, and then the shower. I drop the crones, yeah. yeah. It's, it's kind of little, you know. I don't think the neighbors said much to us. Nah, nah, they know what goes on. So, well, it was we were figuring like, okay, let's get here, leave early. Yeah, hit some traffic. We get here and then we hang out for a minute. But then it turned into no traffic and we shot right here. Oh yeah. So we had booze. So there you go. Let's do that. Let's get a little liquored up. There you go. Yeah, yeah, we did that. <laughs> That's always good. So we got this. What you drinking? Uh, Slim Lean. See. Slim Lean. Yeah. So watching your waist. No, yeah, I'm not gonna plug them. I'm not. See, like no labels, no like labels. A generic label from H E B. Yeah, no labels. And slack annuals. Slack annuals. Or slack. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't even sound good. Slack <laughs> annuals. Slack annuals. And red bulimia. Red bulimia. So they won't catch that, right? Yeah. No. no. I was talking to some girl the other day, and she was saying that uh, her boyfriend um, found mold, like on, a, like on, in a Red Bull, and so they like emailed Red Bull. To get more? No, no, just to say, hey man, I found mold in your in your Red Bull. You know, like on the like. It, like I guess it was the inside, inside or whatever. The anyway, so they sent her like a free was a free case of Red Bull. I guess they were going to press any kind of charges on them or anything. So when uh, like we were broke, we needed some extra Red Bull. So <laughs> you can try that. Well, yes. so like back in the day, I would look up stuff that I liked, and you look at who makes it and who makes it, and then you look up the number. Then you would call them, and I would say like, like I had this. 12 pack of like grape soda or, or grape, some kind of juice. I don't even remember what it was. Well, this grape soda? Yeah, let's go with that. So I called them up and I said, Hey, I just got a 12 pack. It's very sticky and it smells weird. <laughs> I'm not saying like something like nothing. I don't know what's, is there right, something right, wrong right. with it? Should I drink it? Do you think that I should drink this? And is it safe? So right there, you're telling, you're getting permission from them to drink it, which puts them uh, liable for there you it. Go. So as soon as you say that, they're trying to get your address and they're sending you coupons. Oh. So I would do that for my whole grocery list. 
<laughs> People at home, get your pen and paper. We're going to yeah. learn some stuff tonight. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, well, yeah, okay. I'll give you, I'll give you one more. You give me one, I'll give you one more. Like, it's a plethora of knowledge. Okay, here, here, we'll give you one more. Okay, like, okay. Uh, you travel a little bit? Fl- a little, fl- little bit, yeah. Fly? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you go get a $10 gift card, okay? Go ahead and go spend it. What kind of, what kind of gift Whatever, card? Whatever, Visa. Visa, Visa gift card. Visa, okay. Visa. Yeah, so you get that Visa gift card and you get 10 bucks. You can use it and go get a couple of groceries, you know, a couple of items. Right, right. So now it's like $2 on it, 50 cents, whatever. So now you're in the airplane, they go, you're ready for a drink. Drinks cost money on the plane. Oh, I know where you're going with this. You pull out your gift card and give to them, put it on this. I just got this $100 gift card. They don't know. They don't care. So they swipe it. Then they move on to the next. Well, you're not going international, right? No. So there's no satellite phone, so they don't broadcast that. They don't do that till way after yeah, they land. They can't, they can't run it. Mm-mm. So they can't run it. So you go ahead and fill up all day until you <laughs> land. So everybody does that. You do that and you buy it for your buddies. But then you land. <laughs> no, and they no, and then you get off. They don't process that shit till way after. It's not like if you look, the, she's looking for stuff in the in the right, seats. Right, yeah, so yeah, she's yeah. not running shit. Right. They don't do that. It's not till way later that they run that shit and then they just eat the hit. Really? Yeah. We're gonna yeah. try that. No, we did that. We got so yeah, smashed. Some, someone you else came to pick me up. I was drunk. Yes. I came, yeah, I came back from Arkansas. I was drunk as shit. Someone else told me about that. But I won't, I'm not going to call it a scam, but I mean... It's no, it's a, a scam. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to call it a scam. But, but it's totally a scam. Yeah, but actually I had a buddy tell me about that. This was long, a long time ago. They would have probably would have kind of figured it out by now. But don't go international. If you go international, they're broadcasting shit constantly. So. Well, what about the points to Wi-Fi on them? Yeah, no, that, that doesn't. They're not. They're not running it because now they're using up Wi-Fi to run a six-dollar charge. Man. Yeah. Okay. I'll, well, I'll have to try it. Here's the thing: if it you doesn't work, hard. it doesn't work. Yeah. Okay. Well, you, you were gonna you get say, that oh, drink anyway. You're right? saying, well, hey, you know, uh, here's another card. You yeah, know, yeah. Here's, here's, here's one. Yeah, yeah. And then you give them another one of those. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> so no, we did that. I went to Arkansas to do an acting gig. The girl I was sitting with. She was doing some some work with us. She gave me hers. She told me about it. Yeah. And uh, she gave me one like on the way back, but she uh, she did it on the way there. So we were drunk by the time we landed, and it was like, oh, that shit worked. That shit worked. Yeah. So <laughs> the return flight, like, hey, kind of pull you over. Yeah. We you know, know who you are. Yeah, different crew, but yeah, it's. Hey, y'all do that. Cause that's, <laughs> that's good. Tell me how it works. Tell me how it works for you. I said I'm probably gonna have to fly here in the next month or so. I'm gonna try that out. Yeah, I mean, I you're not you're not a drinker. No, no, I can but the guy Bulls next to us. No, but the, oh yeah, yeah, right. Drink some Red Bulls. There yeah. you go. So everything that you can charge, fucking get twenty five headphones. <laughs> <laughs> twenty five headphones. Yeah, just say like I want. Uh, you know, everybody in the plane. Oh my god, it's, it's on awesome. me. It's on me. It's on me. Okay. I got this. I got this. This is mine. And then you walk down. They're gonna let you off the plane first. You're high fiving every fucking body. You're the you're the fucking man. <laughs> and everybody's got headphones. And everybody's got headphones. Yeah, yeah, they're all doing that. Nice. Like, yeah, like, you sell yeah. headphones on the plane? Yeah. You, I didn't know you could buy headphones well, on the plane. It's like it's the little earbuds. Like, so you can watch movies. Oh, okay. No, not good for that. No, 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 it's a little cheap. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Don't so, warm suit. I got to tell you one thing, though. I've been watching Dave TV for a while. And that episode you guys put up was just crazy as fuck, I'll tell you. It's, be, it's between <laughs> yeah. you and Pocket Fisherman. The, the first two. or the second episode? Second one, the latest one. Yeah, uh, yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Was fun. Yeah. That was, uh... All right. Did you see the Pocket Fisherman one? Yeah, but I loved it. But, the, but yeah. if you've seen them, that's... Yeah, that's them. You will always see. Yeah. That's them. So we try to change it up. Like, the first time we did it, we had a choir. Uh-huh. So everybody's I wearing... I didn't see the first one. The, I saw everybody's wearing the red, like, the sashes yeah. and stuff, and... If they don't know the song, then they're, they're actually blowing bubbles. Okay. So we got bubbles going everywhere. We had bubbles there, too. Uh, yeah, these are, you asked some, ask some, I need some bubbles. Yeah. Come to that part, yeah. We need the bubbles. Okay, so with this one, it was the same kind of thing. All right. All? The hell's that? My stomach. <laughs> was, we were sitting out there for a long time. You didn't feed us. I'm I thought, sorry. We thought we were going to have snacks. Actually. Yeah, like the tacos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, all right, so you watched a lot of these. They're really good. The bands are really good. Oh, yeah. Right. And then, like, give me something. Give me something. Give me a light show. Yeah. Yeah, give me some smoke. Do something. 
Yeah, because you know, I need something to entertain me, because if not, I'm going to zone out. Yeah, I went and did I'm a lot like of stuff. It was just me, though. I didn't bring any smoke or lasers or anything. So just, yeah, see, that's just me, but that's why I didn't yeah. watch it. Oh, oh damn, that's messed up. <laughs> yeah, well, blow smoke next time. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think I'll buy my own smoke machine and then bring it to Dave TV with me. But, so, so what we've been doing is uh, me and Beth have like a, a, a vest company. So basically, we go and buy thrift store vests, okay. buy jackets, and we yeah. buy vests. Oh, cool. So, like, we've been going there, we find all these crazy onesies and these suits and stuff like that, and we've been saving those, because we're going to use them for something, we don't know oh, what. Yeah. So, like, in fact, Scott had a chicken suit that he, he had on, and then he, he decided it was getting in the way. It's yeah, like, it was a little, it was cumbersome. It was a, describe your chicken suit that was, you didn't want to uh, wear. It was the cock suit. Yeah, well... Yeah. I don't know, it looked like I was riding a chicken with legs wrapped around me. It was, <laughs> it was one of those carry, the, the carry ones where you, yeah, yeah. Where you see the little legs flopping over and it's whatever. It's really balancing, so yeah. I figured I don't want to, I mean, I could fall on Dave TV. If I'm going to fall, mm -hmm. I'd want it to be on Dave yeah. TV. Cause it would be Did you ever see that band Max Sabbath? Yes. 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 Those guys? Yeah. 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 I see, don't know. see something like that, that we could play with them. That's yeah, true. you know, the thing about, I don't know how those guys play in those, though. The, you know, the bass player and the guitar player? Big suits. Yeah, they have like the was it the Hamburglers one? Yeah. Like, I don't remember the was it Grimace? It's Grimace. Grimace. Yeah. It's like but what their is costume. Is, he's like that big purple looking thing. But what is he? What is he? He's a yeah. He's there a you Grimace. Go. I don't know what the nah. hell is. I felt like he was a like a, supposed to be like a shake or something. It was you something. You're right. It was something stupid. Like okay, so he's a purple shake. What do you have that's a purple shake? I don't know. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Grimace but, is fucked. <laughs> But I saw the costumes that they wear, and it's like, you know, for them to have, like, like a guitar out in front of them, I don't know how they'll even... But, yeah, but then... But it's killer. I love that band. They're, yeah. they're awesome. But they they're look great. at, look, look, uh, Gore. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, Same that's, thing. That, you know, and then, or fucking Kiss, doing that on heels. Yeah. Yeah. We do heels, too. Do you do heels? We've thought about it, but... So, you got any Halloween gigs coming up? Uh, we've had, uh, three, four, five, five Halloween gigs. Ready? Yeah, no, just fell through. Oh, that fell through, really? Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah know what's if we up had, with that? Uh, big dreams, uh, no venue. Uh, what do we got? There's got to be a billion. We got anything going? going? Not next weekend, no. Is, um, that, is that Halloween? How about the last uh, weekend canceled? Oh, no, no. There's no. double books. How many, how many did we lose last week? We lost two with? last week, yeah. Yeah. How does that work with, with, with bars being double booked? I don't I just don't understand it. It's like, who's in charge of the bars? It wasn't a bar. This, this oh, wasn't a bar. No, this particular one is... Let's. We won't go too too detailed with it, but we'll just say the venue is more of a, a an a armory, community center. community center. Okay. But the old man who actually runs it does not know that the kids are doing these shows. <laughs> oh. So he just thinks they're having like a dance. They always oh, say we're having man. we're gonna have another dance. And you guys show up. <laughs> no, you know, yeah, it, no, no, all, no. All they have is is, is savage bands play. Oh, but awesome. then at the same time, you see like 12, 15 year old kids running around with big handles of booze. <laughs> Because there's no rules there. Okay, yeah. maybe not that young. Yeah. No, 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 no. seven year old kids. <laughs> seven year old kids with the handles of booze. Yeah, booze and heroin. That's all they do. Uh, you know. But anyway, so we go, we, yeah. So it's a party. Yeah. But so the dude who runs it, it's in a smaller town. So the dude who runs it's been running it, or owning it, or whatever, for probably 40, 50 years. So he's getting a little bit older. So maybe he didn't write it down. Okay, I see what you're saying. So, so that's why they lost it. But. Yeah, that happens. I thought you guys would be perfect for a Halloween gig somewhere. No, that's what. Uh, There's got to be something no, going on. No, no, no. Let's find you a gig for Halloween. Let's do that. Find we can do that. Halloween. Yeah. Like for Halloween or Halloween weekend? Halloween weekend, because Halloween's on a Monday or Tuesday, right? What is it? Tuesday. Yeah. On a Tuesday this year. Yeah. We are yeah. off this weekend, so we will come to your house. And play in to. your backyard. No, nah, just come to your house. It's like, let me just hang out. I think I know. Actually, there's a party you guys could play. I don't know if you're making money doing it, but. A big ass Halloween party. You know we're playing, right? Yeah, we don't know what that is. <laughs> we'll hand you money for that for me. Is that how that works? Yeah, no, we we we're, we're actually trying to see how much we can lose each show. That's how, yeah, oh, that's even better. No, well, shit, that, that's pretty easy in this town, from what I understand. Yeah, this this uh, is one of the, the the worst worst pain, but we have a good time, and that's what that's what saying. Like the whole thing is, like, we have jobs. Yeah, we we get money. From our jobs, Scott has a job. He gets paid sometimes. 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 
And so I'm a prostitute gigs yeah. and pain sometimes, right? Yeah. So I, I work too. But at the same time, like if we do a show and they can throw us a few bones for gas, yeah. that's cool. But uh, we're going to go ahead and push merch and we're going to get fucked up shirts and stuff and make our money off of that. Yeah. So the more ugly stuff we have, probably the better off we're going to do. Or dumb stuff. The dumb ducks. stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We sold ducks. Like real ducks? Nah, I wish. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past some people these days. I bought uh, a gross of ducks, 50 plastic ducks. Okay. Some had mohawks, some had firemen helmets, some were doctors. And we sold it a buck a duck. I had a big bowl of them and we sold out of them. That's awesome. We're yeah. a little bit like a flea market. Yeah. A flea market of ducks. <laughs> yeah. Of many things. Of many things. But I said, like, <laughs> so, so we were selling a bunch of that stuff. <laughs> well, yes. Were there dicks in there too? You know what? I. I, um. I <laughs> I said the word, mentioned the word dick, and he's gonna start we, going nuts. No, like yeah, we, and I got you, I got you a CD pack. So, oh man! All right, so look at our CD pack. See what you get. That's awesome. Tell me what you got. I'm gonna, can I open it up? Yeah, please. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna open this up right on the podcast here. Like it's it an right. unboxing. It, we're yeah, it's unboxing. like a, can do like an unboxing. You need scissors? No. Okay. And I could see. <laughs> see what we got here. See so what we got here in this shot. wonderful worm suicide. But it's a plethora of magic. Oh, yeah. How's that? This is actually kind of a stripped down one. It's not. It's oh, I want to get the, the big one. No, no, we, we gave away a bunch of stuff too. too. Okay, so we got. Looks like we got nipple clamps here. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Is that what we have here? Yes. Nipple clamps. That's a new one. I haven't seen those yet. No, no we do nipple clamps. We have. Uh, what is this? This would be a uh, a patch. Mm -hmm. What's on that patch? It's a beautiful. Uh, it looks like a um, lovely young lady. A young. A <laughs> <laughs> It's got two buttons on it, but this woman is kind of spread eagle with a pentagram between her legs and a knife in her uh, left hand, it looks like. with a, Is that a mask she has on? That's a gimp mask. It's a gimp mask and an upside down cross. Goodness. So you can... And her socks and, say the devil club. And the socks say the devil club. It's all about the details. I can see that. And we have the CD with the same... Wonderful artwork on it. What's it called? Too Hung to Fall in Love. It's like an old Motley Crue song almost, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Very close, yeah. Instead of Too Young, it's Too Hung. There it is. Pablo and I listen to Motley Crue while we shrink wrap them. Yeah. Really? Oh, awesome. This, yeah, and we got you this also, this this lovely, this lovely. Oh, man. This lovely oh, shirt. Oh, oh that's, that's a good one right there. Yeah, you should be wearing this right now. I'll wear it right now. Yeah, yeah. Put on. people at HEV you know love that shirt. Or, but, or just take your <laughs> shirt off. No, I'll put, I'll put it on right over it. Yeah, but like, no, don't wear a shirt. That'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how many shows have you done without a shirt on? Um, probably. Just keep, just keep that shirt on. Let's just roll with this. <laughs> roll just. Let's roll with that. Fuck? Yeah, let's roll with that. But yeah. Are we yeah. good? Yeah, we're good. Take your shirt off. You good? Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> Hold up. Right. A little cold there, but we're Talk right. about yourself. There we go. <laughs> but, but I'm wearing my best. I think yeah, the shirt's already yeah, sure. yeah. Security's uh, barking at the door. <laughs> More of a suicide. Yeah. So check that out. I love we it. Just, we had the album just come out, and we are on how many torrent sites? Like five. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. Might be more. I'm going to put this on. Hold on. What? I just took my shirt. Ah, you good, man. No, I don't know. I'll share. I get cold real quick, so. Put this bad boy. Yeah, it's starting to nip out. It's got, it's, it's almost a story. A story about what? Um, we bound to have something horrible that we could talk about yeah. on the road. Talk about the or, shirt. Oh, yeah. Which shirt? Yeah, this shirt's shirt? like, yeah, I don't know if you could, you know, it's a great shirt. I don't know how, how many places you could probably wear it, but. <laughs> um, Every place. Every place? Awesome. Hey, thank you so much for this. Yeah. That's going to be worth a lot of money someday. I know. I'm actually going to put it back in the package and not even open it up. That pack, yeah. Well, I'm, I think i got an extra pack for you, too. <laughs> an extra pack? Whoa. One pack is not enough. Anyways. Hey, so, um, oh, <laughs> we got, oh, got condoms in this one. Yeah, yeah, that one's a little cheaper. Wow. That's, that's a little cheaper? <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not as fancy as the other one. Yeah, wow. So we got some uh, nipple uh, enlargers in some of them, some clitoral stimulators in other ones, some wow. straight up vibes in the other ones. What else we got? We got some other? Cock rings. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. We got, yeah. Sorry, Mom. I said <laughs> cock ring. <laughs> Okay, let's do this. Let's put it like that over here. Yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> that's, that's good stuff right there. But anyway, that's good stuff. Yeah, share that with the family. Share it with the family. There you go. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, this is kind of cool stuff because you really don't see a whole lot of bands kind of pimping nipple rings and, and uh, cock rings and stuff like that. So that's awesome. All the bands that uh, I'm going to say, I'm not going to say all of them, but I'm going to say every single band. Oh, wait, no, I did say that. They don't know how to merch. We know how to merch. I can tell you how to merch. Buy in bulk, throw a fucking sticker on it. <laughs> we, sold, we sold slap bracelets. So you're giving your secrets away. No, yeah, well, they're still not going to do it. You're not going to fucking do it. <laughs> He tells everybody. No. They don't listen. Yeah, yeah. We we started with, uh, when did we start headbands? Uh, it's been like six weeks. It was before the final show at Bulls. We had headbands, like a couple of shows before that. So. Right. So, headbands. You wear headbands when you sweat. Right. Right. So, I wear headbands when I sweat. So, I ordered headbands because I sweat. Okay. So I had black headband, and I'm like, well, I'm going to wear this headband, so why, why, why are we not going to do it right? So then I ordered pink headbands. So you're going to see it. So we're not, we're not hiding the headband. We're going to make it part of the thing. So then we started doing iron-on letters on it and saying just, just horrible stuff, like, yeah. I am God's cock. And, yeah, I know. I and, saw one of them on Dave TV. Some, 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 some cunt, I don't know. Something cunt like demon. That. That's what it, yeah, it was something like that. All right, so we started doing those. Cunt demon. Yeah. Nice. So, so, so basically, we started ironing. <laughs> so then I ordered bulk, and we would iron on all kinds of shit. And then when you look out in the crowd, we like one show we sold 45 headbands. That's awesome. Yeah, and it's like it's cheap and it's fun and everybody remembers. Oh yeah, show. of course you're gonna remember that. I yeah. Mean, yeah. So I mean, but it's everything from like my gap to like what does one say? The butthole. Just I mean, it's, so you yeah. make all the stuff yourself then? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That, that's so you, don't have, you don't mass produce anything. Yeah. What, no. So if you got that headman, it's gonna be the only one. Oh, because you just like one one off stuff. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, we have craft night. Yeah. So yeah. So you get together and you make headbands and stuff, or yeah, you make some kind yeah, of yeah, we. We have craft oh, night. Craft night. Oh, okay. Yeah, but usually it's Jameson. So we'll do a bottle of Jameson, and then me and her get the iron out, and then yeah, we, yeah. Cool, we'll, man. We'll that's awesome. But that's what I'm saying. Like, if you are a young band, you can do stuff like that for the cheap. Yeah. And and have new merch. Well, plus, I mean, it, it's cool because it's something you know, uh, it's like it's something special because you're making it by hand, and it's like one off, you know, one, uh, you know. One each of whatever item you're making, you know? Yeah, yeah. If it's really good, we might do another. Uh, like, Scott's got a special one. What's your say? Bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> they don't want it to be crazy. Like, that one, that one, that one's his favorite. Just Bad boy. That's it. That's all it says, yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty tame, though. Yeah. yeah. Hey, so let's, hey, I, you know, I really don't know much about you guys. So, you guys have been around for, like, what, 96 you guys formed? Uh, me and Scott were in a band from 90 to 92. 92. So we had like four years of no worm yeah. of doing other stuff, including a band. Yeah. But we were also in, what, 87 to 89, he was in a band, and I would do like flyers and stuff for that. Like high school? And yeah. High school. So we were doing like, so I've known him since 85? Um, Jay Williams? have been... Middle school, so the freshman year, probably yeah. Not first, yeah. Six or grade, six grade, eighty probably. Yeah, right? six grade or something. But. So yeah, so like, so way back, yeah, way back. So well, I've known him for a million years, but like when he was in the Deadheads, I would do the artwork for them. Okay. And then his guitarist at the time, singer, would tell him, "Hey, make sure Pablo doesn't get too gory on that shit." <laughs> so when he would say that, I would. Amp up the galore so everything would be leaking. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Lots so, of dripping. Yeah. <laughs> so, dripping. yeah. So everything that he would say, like, because I'm, I, yeah, so I've been like this forever. So anytime you tell me don't, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Times yeah, yeah. I'm going to make it really fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we shouldn't, like, right now we shouldn't be drinking, yeah, we, but I'm going to try and drink that whole bottle. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> so we played from 96 to 2001 ish. One yeah. two and had different band members. Uh, people would quit and fill out and stuff. And so we stuff. stopped playing, but we still played. So we would do yeah, yeah. like any kind of like if it was a good show, a reunion show. Because I was ready. I moved here in two thousand three to Austin. Where are you from? Victoria. Okay. So I moved here. In, when did you move? Right after. Um, like four. Yeah. So I was. I was. I moved up here. So I was up here. No music. Uh, 
So no music, okay. but I was I was up here. So, uh, but we would get together. So like in two thousand, I think four, we had a reunion. Two thousand seven, we went back and played with the, the Misfits. Okay. So stuff like that that was yeah. happening. We would do stuff that was special. Yeah, but. So then about. But he, but he was playing. He was playing. I had that some, time. some other bands I was playing in and doing. What were your bands? Solo stuff. Um, Return to Cinder was the one I played with for a couple of years, and then I started doing some solo stuff under Apples for Eyes. It was all acoustic work, yeah, which is I, totally. That, yeah, yeah, Apples. That, yeah, that that rings a bell. I think I remember hearing hear about that. But we uh, stopped playing, and still me and him still kept in contact. And uh, I think he was going on a vacation one time, and I'd sit and. and Recorded some stuff on GarageBand. I said, let's just do a cover EP. So I threw down like a Black Flag song, a Chore Boy song, a couple of some covers. And I just recorded everything and sent them all to him, just without the vocals. And he was like, well, let's come lay some vocals in the house. So we did. And that later became the alternative to what EP. And then we kind of decided, hey, should we, should we play? Yeah. Should we play again? Do we have enough people we can find here? Well, we're playing off that when 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 Worm started in '96. It was it was me and Scott. Right. It was me and Scott. <coughs> Excuse me. Tascam four. A Tascam four track cassette yeah. recorder. So I had one of those. Yeah. yeah. And then we was it just a regular? It was a Roland, right? Was it Roland or uh, was it Roland Jeanette? Dr. Drum machine? So it was me and him, and and that was it. That's how we started. So initially, when we were talking about. Uh, starting back up it wasn't about starting back up it was about finishing the band off the way we came in okay so we came in with me and scott a drum machine and a four track so the equivalent of that is me and him garage band and loops for the drums right? Drum loops yeah. okay so, or so programming yeah so we were going to do the same thing that we did at the beginning in 96 and finish the band off with another release because i wanted to do like a full album and just in the band the way we came in. Wow. So we did that. Like you thought about, we started, like he had some stuff, and then I started laying out some drums, and we started working on some other things, and it was just like, it was the same two guys who were writing this stuff in 96, and 97, and 98, and 99, and 2000. Same guys doing it, so it had the same, same flavor. Okay. So it was like, hey, you're not doing shit with your life. And neither am I. <laughs> so let's do this. Yeah. Um, but we decided also, if we're going to do this, we're going to commit to doing this. And we're going to do this as savage as fuck. Yeah. I mean, you kind of have to. Yeah. So there's no point. If you're not going to do it like that, there's no point in even getting involved in it. All right. So in, in, in Victoria, where we're from, you've got, all right, so we maybe have a weekend. So we'll do one in Victoria for that month because it's, you know, you can only do so much. Right. And then we would do one out of town. Okay, so that there you go. You got two shows. Okay. Back you're, you're talking in the in the nineties. Yeah. We didn't. Yeah. That's yeah. So you got two shows in the nineties. So we're like, all right. So my up. so our other guys were working, and we were all working, but they liked overtime. They liked making lots of money. Right, right. Because right, they were doing probably getting ready for families and shit like that. So that just meant two shows. Okay, so we do that. That was fine. But when we decided to do that here. We just figured out that there's a lot of places to play, and you're gonna hear stuff like, "You should only play once, or people are gonna get tired of you. You get oversaturated." Or That's how it is in town right now. Right, but we yeah. don't. But but we don't agree with that, because the thing is, right now at this club, you come here, right? Mm -hmm. I've never set foot in this fucking club. Yeah. Okay, so I'm playing for this and your friends. This club, you don't go there. She goes there. And her and her fucking friends. So we're going to play at this club for her and her friends. And you'll never see it. And so we play Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at this club. Or we're going to play Tuesday at this club because Tuesday we practice. So why we don't go practice in front of five people instead? Yeah. So everybody told us we were doing it wrong. And then we did 80 shows in a year. And then we did 100 and 112. And it was... Like, like 200 and a little over two years, I think. I think it was less than that. Is that all in Austin or? Yeah. Around, because we. Around, around time? Yeah, around so, so, all right, so if we go to Victoria, and then we go to Waco, and we go to Belton, and we go to San Antonio, we, there's other places to play. Oh, yeah, there's course rooms. Right, so everybody's telling us we're doing it wrong, and then, and then we, we're sitting on stage, 
after we talked to Mark Henry and right after Joe Eli and uh, Lyle Lovett. Lovett got off stage, we got on stage and we got our award. Awesome, man. So you tell us we're doing it wrong, that's fine. We're going to keep doing it wrong. <laughs> and we're going to get the award next fucking year. So, Yeah. So look, and what is that award? Tell everybody. Scott. It was the uh, best performing punk band of 2016-2017 for the Chronicle AMAs during South by Southwest. What's, what's the AMA? Uh, Austin Music Awards. Oh, my God. It's a big deal. We, we, didn't no, no, it, no. we didn't think it was a big deal. Well... I, he got the email, he sent it to me, and he was like, what is this? And I looked at it, and I was like, it looks kind of real. And you, your words <laughs> were, kind of real. I'm not going to be in any part of that. I don't want anything to do with that, y'all go. <laughs> I, told, I told her, I told Beth, I was like, this is fuck, I'm not going to this. So I, I talked to... And I'm like, fuck, you're going to that? <laughs> I didn't realize it was. Everybody going else to wanted to go. Yeah. All right, if everybody's going, I'm going to go. Did you get your own table? No, we 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 got uh, we we had our own handler. Yeah, yeah, it was weird. Yeah, Some we girl that we, handled we, us. We got handled. <laughs> <laughs> or she, she just said if we needed anything, she we was a, know. She was a fluffer. She's a fluffer. A fluffer for the the AMAs. Yeah, <laughs> we got fluffed. Legitimately, at the music awards, we were the most entertained and the most entertaining group of people. Oh, without doubt, yeah. So so we show up to this this fucking thing that like I didn't even want to go to. Right. Then I'm looking around, I was like, fuck, there's a lot of people here. This is this is a crazy amount of people. So what did they do it last year? Uh ACL? The Moody. The Moody. 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 Yeah, they used to do it at the um uh what do you call it? The Austin Music Hall until they tore it down. That was that was the main place they did it. Now like they still do it to Moody. So Yeah this was this was like I think they said like thirty five hundred people were there or something. Like it was yeah it, it, it was stacked. It's it was, huge. Yeah. Yeah. So That's I was awesome. like, so we walked in. I was like, oh shit, okay, yeah, th this is a big deal. Yeah, yeah. So then us being us, we go and and we're getting handled. So we're being handled, and we go upstairs and we're talking to the the Bud Light guy. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah, we're, we're taking the Bud Light. Dude. We're taking lots of photos, and the Bud Light guy, he's like, hey, come to the bar because we're doing photo shoots at the Bud Light booth, and he's like, hey, come over here. I've got some, I can give beers. Right. And he hadn't been given any away. He said, you guys, you guys are fun. So, 10 beers, 10 beers, 10 beers. 10, 10 beers. Yeah, yeah, a group of 10. Everybody yeah. got oh, okay. so, no, so, so he just kept, he kept loading us up. Five beers. Yeah, no, he just kept loading us up. Load up, load up, load up. So we were getting pretty, pretty like, we, and we had some, I think, when we got there. So mm -hmm. we, were, we were having a good time. Then we get down when they say it's time for the awards thing for us. We go down. And it was some whiskey company, was it? Nine Banded? Yeah. It doesn't matter. We're not going to advertise them. You know, it's this band. <laughs> All right. Yeah, because they, yeah, they were supposed to work with us, but they didn't. So, you know what? It, it was these guys. It wasn't Nine Banded. So, anyway. Yeah, Cranules over here. Yeah, so. Yeah, Cranules. Yeah. Cranules Whiskey is yeah, the, was, Cranules. was the sponsor. <laughs> so, they gave us some, some coupons to have some whiskey before we go on stage. Okay. Which, which is a mistake. Oh, boy. So I can see this is going. Yeah, so they give us all these coupons, and then we go to the bar, and they're like, they don't care about the coupons. They're just giving us whiskey. Right. So we got pretty drunk, and the first thing I oh, said when we got on stage was, I want to thank Bud Light and Nine Banded Whiskey for getting us fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 the crowd popped big. The crowd popped big, because everybody else has been thanking God and... You know, so I mean, you go up there and curse, and it was okay to curse. No, they loved it. Oh, they, did they really? No, no, no. Times they didn't tell us anything. No, 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 no. So everybody oh, man, up there got over. Everybody up there, like afterwards, said it was the best speech of the night because I, I, I think, oh, yeah. I think booze and <laughs> and the last thing we said was we're worm suicide. Give us two drink tickets and point us to the fucking stage. <laughs> That's pretty much what we say when we get to the club and un unloading. That's fucking great, man. So, I mean, so how did you find out you won? They emailed you and told you? Yeah, so... Uh, I didn't even know we were entered. I didn't even know that was... Yeah, no, I, I, I do stuff, and then I forget that I do stuff. Okay. So, we had uh, tried to get on, and, and, and just I kept sharing it, and then we, we you won. You didn't share that one that much, so that was like, like... I think you shared it twice. Yeah, and then we won. So... 
Then I sent it to him, and I was like, well, deal with this. I don't know what's going on. Oh, because I was wondering if it was a thing where they invited, like, you know, oh, no. three nominees. No, 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 nothing like that. So they say, you won. Okay. Shut up. Don't say nothing. That's basically, yeah, nobody. yeah, yeah. So you can't say anything. Right. So, because nobody's supposed to, so they're just announcing it there. So the winners are there. So right. everybody you see crossing that stage, they got the same email. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. You, you won. Right. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah. So when you get yours, because you're up for it too, right? Yeah. So when you get yours. <laughs> <I'm okay. laughs> Mine's a different thing, though, because I'm not going to be going to the awards thing. I don't think. Yeah, no, no, no. Best no, no. of Austin, Best of Austin is different. Yeah, Best of Austin doesn't doesn't go to the awards. Yeah, but think. you you will get that. Oh yeah, I'll get one. You, you will get those, that. It won't be like as majestic as that. I won't be out of the belt and everything. But no, yeah. that's fucking good. That's pretty <laughs> Hey, would you mind if I made my own belt? No, no, no. I'll show you how to do it. Oh, I don't want to you know steal your idea. Yeah, I'd love to come awesome. to craft night. Yeah, no, no. I think that I think that would be awesome to make a belt. That's fucking the best. <laughs> yeah, don't. I mean. If you win something, fucking rub it in people's faces. <laughs> you know, like, like I mean, when, we, when we're talking and we play with all these bands, and, yeah. and, and uh, we love playing with them because we dominate them. It's awesome. It's like, thank you guys for not being you as good as in more ways than one. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> guys, we're watching, and your bands, we appreciate you for not being as good as us. You know what? <laughs> you know, actually, what we would love. We would love right now. Oh, this is gonna be good. No, like all okay. There's a lot of bands that oh. do not want that. They don't care. It's not punk rock. No, so, but they all say that they don't want it. But if they gave, you know, you know. But what I want them to do is concede. I give up. Yeah, no, no. But I want them to concede and give it to us. They know we like this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, who doesn't? Who doesn't like being recognized? We we just also we won the MXD music. Uh, right. I was gonna ask you about that. Yeah, yeah. So we got that too. So. We got best punk band, best punk guitar, best punk bass, best punk drums, best punk vocals. We swept that shit. It sounds like it. All right. But we didn't. Here's the controversy. Sort of. What's the controversy? Um, You're stuffing the ballot box with your own name. <laughs> Say it. Say the days. The days. Uh, days and days? Mm hmm Oh. I think they thought they won. Days and days won best punk band. And we, we play with them a lot. We're, we're fine with them. It's not about that. But the MXD is metal. It's, it's hard, no, hard rock, MXD, mag, hard rock, and metal music or yeah. something like that. Yeah. So hard stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically you can say uh, my band and just you throw it in there and if people vote for it, right, right. then it's good. Well, we've got like 1,000, 1,200 followers and they had like 50,000. Oh, so Jesus. somebody put them in, and they won. So when we got to the awards, they got the award. But then the the guy who's running it is like, "That's not punk." Well, we actually oh, we, 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 when we first got there and we saw the shirts, because we thought they that they won. Yeah. And we we got there, and on the shirts where they printed all the all winners, the awards, yeah, they, all the, they had Worm as the best punk band. Yeah, because they had figured, they had not figured out, but they had decided that. Days and days, yes, they won by, by folk count, but they didn't think that they were... But they're not in the right category. Yeah, so if anything, they would switch the category and make, make it best folk punk and let them keep it. Right, right, right. Yeah, so, so it was like, we're not trying to like fuck with them, but on the shirts, they decided that that wasn't punk because this is a, a metal thing. Right. So all these guys don't, like, we were the only punk, like, really, right? Only punk? Yes, yeah, I think yes. We're the we're the only punk band. Yeah, so we're the only punk band. So they don't they do with metal and, 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 and tribute bands, tribute, Tri tribute yeah, bands. Tribute, 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 bands, tribute yeah. bands. So this isn't something that they deal with. So when it was punk, they thought charged heavy punk. Yeah. And this is why this band and then they listened to it and they're like they decided that that wasn't So so what happened in the end? You guys got it, right? Well Yes. Yeah, yeah. Basically So yeah. what happened with them? They didn't get anything or No, they they, they did. But I think they're going to change the name, like in the category. To okay. Best. So, so we got best punk, and if anything, they got <clears throat> best folk punk. Yeah, I and mean, we start like you know dwindling it down to folk punk, and I mean it's just yeah. like you know it should be just like punk rock metal whatever you call it a day. You, know, you start right, but at the same time, like, like dividing it up to the problem with, with with their whole thing is is, is Scott could have gone. This is my band, Bowl of Ice, and we get enough people to vote for Bowl of Ice, then they win. Right. So 
Even they're, though they're not, they're they're just in the right place. Yeah, yeah. So, and that's what happened. So, he backtracked. Yeah, he and listened we, to the bands, and he was like, "There's no way the two of you should be in the same category." Realm. Like yeah. that's yeah. that's not punk in the way that we thought we were doing. Punk. Right. That's something. Yeah. Else. So not so much taken away from them, but renaming phones on silent. I do. It's weird because I had my own number for the podcast, but the two phones are linked together somehow. I, I when I was setting them up, I hit a, a button for something, so the two phones are even though they have, both have their own numbers. I think th those calls come in on this one. It's it's all fucking messed up. So, uh, so this year you're gonna go for it again. Definitely, definitely. So it'll be 2017 to 2018, and that's what we want. We want. Everybody can see it and give us their votes. We, we want this. We love this. All right, so we're sitting in line to go up to get our awards, and this big giant's walking towards us, and it's Mark Henry, the wrestler. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, and we're like, we're all popping big for that because we are wrestling fans, and yeah. Mark Henry's there, and we're taking pictures of Mark Henry, and the handler's telling us to be quiet because they can hear us on stage. <laughs> but we're too Was he a presenter or something? Or? I, I think he had gone, like... He had been up there right before, so we're in line, so we don't even see what he's doing. Right, so okay. he might have done something. Yeah. He might have Joe Ely and, and La Love were up there, so maybe he had announced them or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was coming back towards us, so that was that was this Mark Henry, yeah, yeah. sexual chocolate. That's <laughs> right. It was exciting. I, I met him outside the uh, outside the Yellow Rose one night. I was going in, and he was coming out. I talked to him for a minute. He's a big dude. Oh my God. Not so tall, but he's wide. No, no, no. He, yeah, no, like, you, he's like, but, <laughs> no, but like, like we did. He's fun, built like a barrel. No, I was saying we did photos yeah. with him. And it was just Real like, nice guy, like man. hugging a refrigerator. It yeah, was yeah. just like, just this mass that, yeah. yeah. We tried to get him to lock up with our bass player Bobby. Remember? I, I, yeah. <laughs> I didn't think. No, no, no. He, he wouldn't. He was like, you gotta pay me. That's not even that. It's more about the lawsuit thing. No, no, no just lock up. Just the, there's just the, the, the post yeah, up yeah, at the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah. But he was like, you got to pay me. So he was, what? Oh, yeah, so, so he was just saying, like, he's not locking up till he He's not even wrestling anymore, is he? he, he he's he, not on that stage retired, but he's probably he in the minor league. No, he's, uh, yeah. what happens with a lot of these guys is they, they turn agent. So he is agent. So he's still so there. He works for them. Still yeah. as an agent. Yeah. yeah, so he'll be doing setting up the matches and stuff. So I think he, he never, saw, I don't think he even announced that. But he's still doing agent, so if you see him, they need him for something. So he'll come out and do like a squash or something. Yeah. Or like some kind of comedy bit. Or somebody get the surprise win over him. But but yeah, he's he's pretty much starting to roll into an agent mode. Yeah, because I, mean, I know he had like a, <clears throat> he had like a 10 year contract with him and then it kind of it went up and then it was a thing where he just kind of disappeared, but you know, but, but I'm he, not he was working the indie circuit, but yeah, no, 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 he, he was wasn't. Working no, he, no, he, he was backstage, but he was also like I think he got injured like three. Four oh times yeah, that's like, a wrong business, man. It's, yeah, you know. yeah, and then then that, that big moving around that much mass, mm -hmm. yeah, your knees. Well, it's like the big show, same thing with him, you know. Yeah, that, yeah, new hip. He's got a new hip. Yeah. Have you seen him? He's, he's, I met him. I mean, no, no, no. Recently, he jacked. Oh yeah, well, he lost a lot of weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he was like, he's getting the new hip, and he's like, he needs to get healthier to be supporting that. Everybody. Yeah, I told this story before, and I'm sure you'll, you're, you know, one of the guys who would really appreciate this this story. Um, I have a buddy that works up at the Mohegan Sun in Connecticut. Um, if you didn't know anything about, uh, just like Indian Casino. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 Mohegan yeah. Sun. Anyways, he's a rigger, and he works. You know, he hangs lights and everything. But he, you know, does all the stuff for WWE when they come through. And he was. This is this is going back to, man, 2001 because. He was down here for vacation, and WrestleMania was that uh, a week away, I think. So they were here at the Irwin Center doing like it was like Monday Night Raw at the time. Was it in Houston? No, or, yeah, it was at the Astrodome. It was saying like that. That was the WrestleMania in Houston. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So he was here like the week <coughs> before, and we're driving to the airport, and he goes, "Hey, you want to stop by the Irwin Center and go see the boys?" I'm like, "What are you talking about? Well, the wrestling's in town." Yeah. And he knows all those guys, so we drove up and. And anyways, Big Bill is like six, I'm going to say he's six, seven or six, eight. And he's about, at the time was like 360 or 380. He's a big guy. Um, so we got out of the car. We walked down the ramp of the road center and no one stopped us. Everybody thought he was part of the WWE. We walked in and they're all setting the ring up around lunchtime because they all get together. 
they got to check in like around noon or one o'clock because they all have to go to catering and yeah. eat and all that kind of stuff. So we got the right time for that. Basically, we do a head count. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Bodies. So when he walked in, they're all looking at me. Like, hey, what are you doing here? So I'm from Connecticut. You're, in, you know, we're in Austin. So he explained, hey, you know, I'm on vacation. We thought we'd come down and say hello to everybody. Got to meet everybody. This is when Chris Stratus was there. Stone Cold was there. The Rock was there. This is when the Undertaker was riding the bikes to the ring. Got to steal the bikes. American badass. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and anyways, uh, I don't know if you've ever been backstage at the Irwin Center. It's like... It, Have we played there? It's a, it's a... It was just a circle all the way around. But the, yeah. the, the, the big show, or Paul White, whatever yeah. you want to call him, it was funny to see him walk through the doors because he would have to go like this and walk through the doors because he's like so big, you know? But he shook my hand and it was like, <laughs> I mean, the, the hand on it was like this. It's like, it was, I'm like, I never seen a dude so big in my life. We we were, we went and saw him like when he was doing the ECW circuit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like separate, like she was there and I was there. This was, I don't remember what year that was. But yeah, he, we were like in the second row and he walked by and I was like, Oh, you don't really get it. You don't get it to you. Uh, fucking uh, uh, the guy you yeah. yeah, you don't understand that that is a massive man. Like, Yeah, the only the only guy bigger that, that Bill said he's ever met was Shaq. He said he met Shaq one time at the casino. And he said that dude is like ungodly big. He's like he's like three, like three inches taller than Show or something. Yeah, but he's just a big fucking yeah, dude. Yeah, 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 he's like just that. monstrous. You know? I like that. Yeah. You're okay <laughs> No, 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 I just I like, dicks. I, no, I, I like I like the old, old, old wrestling talk because wrestling cause, talk because we're from from Victoria, so like we would have the Houston Championship Wrestling on Channel Thirty Nine is what we watched. Yeah, but my stepdad was friends with a guy who was uh, the owner of this place called Riverside Market Square, and that dude was a powerlifter. Has nothing to do with that. I just thought I'd tell you that. That's fine. But anyway, <laughs> so. Uh, we would go, and my stepdad would sit ringside, and he would announce. He wasn't calling the stuff, but he would just say, you know, come into the ring. He would announce everybody. Right, right. So, because, like, if you go to those lives, nobody's, like, they're calling if it's on TV, but you can't hear it out there. Yeah, you can't hear anything. Yeah, yeah so it was, it was like that. So we would be there, and we would do the announcing, and I would sit there right by the ring. And uh, this was like, we had talked before, but this was like Ivan Fusky. Tyre Conway Jr., uh, Jose Lothario, uh, and then, like, honestly, I wish I could remember who the, the, the mask guys were, but I remember going, like, to the, oh, and, and actually Andre was there before, so, but I didn't know any of these guys, Yeah. but he was friends with Jose Lothario, so we would go and visit with Jose, so Jose would take us to the back, and I would sit there, and I would look at this guy, who just fought this guy, or was gonna fight this guy, and I knew this guy was against this guy. <laughs> they're all buddies back then. Yeah, yeah, no, and they, were, they, were, they were going over their match. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so they'd sit on the couch going over their match, and you'd see this guy walking around with his mask over his head, sitting in his <laughs> underwear, getting ready to, to, to get ready to go out there. And, and I'm like, so confused. Yeah, you because know. Because I, no, no, I thought it was, I still thought it was a shoot back then. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, you know, I, I didn't know. And then he would just tell me, he's like, Everybody here is here to put on a show for you. Yeah. So he was trying to tell me without without kind of telling me. He was just saying, like, they're going to make sure they're going to do the best show for you. Yeah. The, it's like the beefs are fake, but the bumps are real. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, 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 but, he was just, but he was trying to tell me without, like, smashing me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So then my, my stepdad was just, like, a dick about it. And he was like, so we got to the house, and there's some Houston wrestling on. He's like, turn off the volume. <laughs> and I was like, what? And he was like, turn off the volume. So, all right, watch wrestling and you turn off the volume. All right. Okay. Now now you don't hear that. Yeah. So now you just see this. He destroyed me. He destroyed me in my wrestling. Yeah, my brother was a, a big wrestling fan like in the 70s and my dad was telling me because he lived over there. My, my dad lived over in El Paso. My brother lived in, over there as well. And anyway, he took him over to, I think it was El Paso Civic Center, I think it was at the time. Dropped him off from, he was a big wrestling fan, and he went and watched it live one time, and he just, after he watched it live, he wanted him to do it after that. Uh, That's all fake shit. I don't want to watch, watch that anymore. But there's people, I, I have friends that are, mon you know, monster wrestling fans to this day. But are they, no, no, like, we, we still love it. Like oh, yeah, 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 But, yeah. but are they, are they, are they smart to it? 
Oh yeah, there's they know what's going on. Okay, they're okay. adults. I mean, you know, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. But as long as long, it's like there's people that actually you know, don't you, believe the yeah, beach yeah. and all, and it's like uh, you know, like uh, all right. So Kane, Kane lost the match. This is I was at work. Kane had lost the match, and it was when he was filming. Remember that horror movie? No. <laughs> Yeah, we were talking about that the other night. It was like, see no evil or something like that? I don't know. All right, so anyway, so so Kane was going to go film a movie. All right, so they needed to get him off TV for like two months, right? Uh-huh. So they worked an angle where Kane, who, kn- who knows, he got shot in the face. I don't know. Either way, but, <laughs> yeah, I was just a little rough different time. Yeah. But anyway, so so they worked an angle where he, where, he got, yeah. where he got hurt. So she comes in and she was like, did you see it last night? And I was like, yeah, yeah. She's like, oh, they hurt Kane. And I was like, yeah. I said, he's got to go shoot, uh, he's got to shoot that movie for a couple months. And her mouth just dropped and she looked at me like like a dog, like a whistle and stuff. <laughs> and crushed her dreams. No, no, she, was, she wasn't sure what I was talking about. So when I said, and I said, because uh, I didn't want to ruin, like I didn't want to say, I didn't want to do the, there's no Santa to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't so, want to do that. So I was just like. How old is, how old is this girl? Uh, Probably thirty something. Oh, Jesus. No, no, no. This was not. No, this, this, no, this was not a, a young lady. So when wow. I when I told her that that he had to go film a, a, a movie, and then she did the the side ear dog thing. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, and I hope he gets better in time to film it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I mean, there's some hardcore well, people out there love that shit. Well, I, mean, I'm saying, that, like, I just yeah. didn't want. I didn't want to take that from her. Yeah, like it's not, yeah, it's not, it's not yeah. my place. It's not my yeah. place. There's a time and a place. She'll figure it out after yeah. a while. Yeah. Was, you know? But yeah. Side dog. Yeah, I started. You know, I started watching like mixed martial arts, and I, you know, I think after like the WrestleMania in 2001, that one, uh, I just tapped out after that, because it was a thing where I watched it as a kid all the damn time, and my buddy's uh, dad used to take us like to the matches all the time, you know, and then it got to a point where it was like, okay, you're getting a little older, and it's just not. You know, it's time. To, I'm not saying it's time to grow up, but it's, you, it's, know, you kind of move on to other things. As and, an adult, as it's time to for yeah. you know, put up your childish ways I or think, something like. No, it's not even really. I, yeah. I, I really, you know, I knew it was. I'm not. I knew it was scripted a long time ago. Yeah. I was really into the, you know, the WCW, uh, you know, NWO stuff. I thought that was kill. I thought I thought the storylines were great. I watched it because of that, you know, not because of the, you know, the, the actual wrestling or anything. But you know, but it got to be. At that point, it got to be there was hardly any wrestling; it was just all drama. Yeah, you know and at I mean? the same it, time, if you remember how many people joined NWO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they had the, the what was it the, the the Latin NWO, their Latino NWO, and then they had the black the, the black NWO. And it was like well, you know, then they did Wolfpack, but it was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it was just crazy. So many people were in yeah NWO that it was like there was no nobody one. left. Yeah, you know, fight each other. I don't know. Yeah, they 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 fucked that all up, and that, yeah, and we were doing like a podcast that we're listening to. That talks about that. Tony Schiavone does one where yeah, 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 yeah. where you can watch. You pull up the network and you pull up a pay per view, and he'll walk you through what's going yeah. on. So it's it's just fun. But we like that kind of shit. Like hell yeah, the behind the scenes stuff. Like behind the scenes, what yeah, we're doing yeah. on here. Exactly. What's, going on? Mm-hmm. what's back? Totally. Talk to Scott. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna look around over here for a minute. You're gonna go look around. If you, yeah. if you put your hand in this water, yeah. you will pee. No, that's why I gotta go. <laughs> I tried it. He's gonna destroy my bathroom. Oh no! Oh, no. lock him up. There you go. <laughs> he just shit himself. Uh, the crumbs. He was. The yeah, crumbs. It was the, the crumbs. The crumbs yeah, Lord have mercy. The crumbs. We have to, you know, we have to watch that. We beat up our bodies. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you. Somewhat. That's why. Like, that's why I stopped drinking three years ago. Yeah, it was kind of my body was getting a little hammered up. So. Definitely. Ugh. So what's going on? I'm ready to play a show. We've been really? out for like two weeks, so it feels like we may have played last week. You got anything week. coming up at all? Um, the 10th of November at Texas Mist. Does that sound right? We yes. did play Safe House last week. It's a, It was another, I don't know if it's a competing podcast show, but it's a, it's a I don't look video at, I don't... show. Yeah, also. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we did that. So we didn't do, and they had a small audience, but not much. Just usually the other band. That was really fun. But other than that, uh, besides our show that got canceled last uh, Friday, yeah, I think we had mm-hmm. in November, and we are opening for the Dead Kennedys, and uh, that's going to be good. December seventeenth. Seventeenth. And where's that? At Come and Take It Live. 
So we're excited about that. That should be it. That's a cool little place. Yeah, we love that place. We did a, a Doyle. We didn't do Doyle. We opened for Doyle over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the Blaze, Blaze Bailey. Both of those shows were real fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's back already. That was quick. <laughs> quick crumbs. Get that, get that bladder yeah, on the yeah, no. five year old girl. Empties up quick. Yeah, your bathroom smells like burning hair and regret. <laughs> burning hair and regret? <laughs> wow. You're welcome. Is that good? Yeah, you're welcome. Awesome. Though. I thought actually smoked, smoked very nice in there, I guess not. Not anymore. Oh, yo, oh, I see what's up. Yeah, no, no, no. Fuck, you left a little surprise in there for me or what? Yeah, I didn't flush you there. Oh, nice. Yeah. Thank you. Well, because we're talking about Crohn's, and I want take, you to see the... Did you take a picture? Yeah, well, I want you to see the, the <laughs> suffering of... Uh, <laughs> it's very crony. Yeah, no. Is it very crony? Yeah, yeah, corny. Oh, corny. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. You got to get a refill there? Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about how I was not the original singer at Warm Suicide. Let's talk, let's talk to Beth a little bit, because Beth's over here in the corner just like, you know, she's just drunk. laughing at you. She's drunk as shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my God. She's got a glass of beer that she barely sipped yeah, on. Yeah, it's kind of warm. <laughs> it's like she's driving, so yeah. Yeah. Talk to me. What's Say your it. story? How you doing? I'm good. Are you good? Okay. <laughs> Are you good? <laughs> show, show, show the Cat Punks logo. The cat punks. Yeah, yeah, we're we're cat punks. Let's get to the cat. Actually, punks. actually, a lot of people watching right now are cat punks. Nice. Yeah. ATX cat punks. United. United. Hey, so um, so is the band name? Is it just Worm Suicide? Because I know it's like your Facebook page. Yes. It had is. a very long title on it. Yeah. That, um, that's because, and there's there's a point to that. We have a song called Devil Club. Um, okay. The Devil Club back in the shirt. '90s, well, like that shirt, our little Devil Club logo. Uh, we had a group of friends that helped, uh, including the band and some other band members from other bands that were kind of the hub of the scene in Victoria, who put the shows on. Like we were kind of like the ones bringing in other bands and giving touring bands places to stay. And we were called the Devil Club, okay. and it was like the fan club, so like a fiend club, sort of like the Misfits were. We had the Devil Kiss Club. Kiss Army. Kiss Army, yeah. So. When we started the page again, because first we started, we, had, we weren't even back together when we put the fan page up for the band or the band page. We didn't, um, we weren't playing. We were just like, we have boxes of photos, like hand, like photos that you can hold, yeah, like in my closet, it's weird, and flyers that you can hold. And so we said so we needed to give these places a home. So we were like, just just scan them all in, put them all up on the on the web page, and and we had uh, our fans that were the part of the Devil Club too. At that time you could you had to send in stuff online and we would approve you to be in the group and and so those people that were the Devil Club were as much a part of the band we thought. And so yeah. that's why when I when we put the page together it was Warm Suicide and the Devil Club because without the Devil Club we were yeah, just like a bunch fan, of like fan club, yeah. yeah. So we included them because like <clears throat> I said we weren't going to even play. So we weren't going to keep going with this but we we're going to put all the pictures of them yeah, and then post cool. this new EP of us playing, and and finish it off on there. But that way, there was a place for you to go, because our uh, Geo Cities wasn't running yeah, anymore. Yeah, Geo Cities got shut down. <laughs> they shut our Geo Cities down. That's that so was, fucked. Yeah, that was I was sad. <laughs> Why did they shut it down? I mean, it was such a long page. Like you yeah. could scroll for like days on that. page. Yeah, they, I think they shut it down probably the thirteen years ago, fourteen years, 14 years, ago, years ago when they, when they stopped. Doing GeoCities. Yeah, when that stopped being a thing. Yeah, yeah. it was like <laughs> www.geocities.com slash sunset strip slash palladium Good God six oh six. Six. That was, and we even had that on business cards that yeah. long because we were too cheap to get a oh URL. My God. And then we figured out that you can do the CJB. Oh, yeah, remember, a, do you remember yeah, the yeah, yeah. web forwarding program? Or suicide.cjb.net. <laughs> Yeah, so I remember, that's how you yeah. forward, guys. I didn't have anything yeah. back then. I was like, kind of, my stuff is easy now, you know, so it's. Yeah, but the GeoCities thing, man, them, those those uh, addresses were long. Yeah, but yeah, Palladium, was, that was like, there was like different cities or something, right? Palladium yeah, was, was just like, our city. Like neighborhoods. Yeah, you so. Could click onto the house next to yours and it would be someone's yeah. know, other web page. So that's where, like, if you go to Palladium, you find us, but if you go over here, you've got that Mr. T ate my balls page. Does that matter? <laughs> Remember those? Yeah, and Godzilla ate my balls and all the ate my yeah. balls. Well, if you go to the ate my balls, if you look up ate my balls, you'll look up worm suicide ate my balls. You can find our ate my balls page that we did in like ninety seven. My God. Yes. Ninety seven. I mean, I remember like 
getting online in '97 through like America Online or something. But they, but like the you know the World Wide Web addresses, not many of them existed at the time. Yeah. There was a few here and there, but it was all like IRC stuff and you know that kind of junk. But there really wasn't much. Up until about maybe two thousand ish, I think, when it came to you yeah. know yeah. actual yeah. web pages. I think I think he was the first person I knew that had internet. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. dial up. No, no, no matter what, no matter what, but he was the only one. Like he had yeah. a computer and he could get online. Yeah, I think the Crazy. first time I actually ever ever went online was like ninety. I'm gonna say ninety six. Yeah, probably ninety five, ninety six. Right. America Online though. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll tell you what we, what we did. Uh, if you want to count that as online, I don't know. Yeah. Does that count? I'm not, yes. I'm not, no, it counts. I'm not, I guess. I'm not going to count. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So, just getting on the line, on the on the interwebs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this was, when did we do Schfucks? 90, 99? Um, the comp? Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere around there. 98, 99. All right. So, the CD we gave you. Right over there. Let's hold That's, that wonderful thing. There we go. Beautiful. So, so that 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 was uh, paid Why for. Look at the back? Look at that. Like the, the actual CDs to put out was paid for by Wise Ass Records, which is a, a friend of ours named Walter. Okay, so in '99, Walter had his Wise Ass Records, and he was the first person to put us out on a compilation because he found us online. Yeah. Hit, us, hit me up for music, and I sent him some stuff, and he put us on a comp. So, I've known Walter since like 97, 98, but I've never met him. And we met him probably in 2015, 2016. Wow, that late, huh? Yeah, no, wow. like, like, because he would like, come over here and do shows, and I was like, ah, I don't even know where you're at, I don't know what Delton is. Yeah, yeah we met him at that first Belton show, right? No, 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 we met him at Gypsy, he came Gypsy. to Gypsy. Oh. Okay. So so we met him at Gypsy, but anyway, so I didn't even I didn't know him formally. Yeah, yeah. So he was at the show, and we met, and he was saying like later on, like so we met, and then we did some shows with his band Schfucks and stuff, and in fact it was on that comp. His his band was on the comp in '99 or something. So he was like, us, we were working on this album, and he's like, I want to put it out. So he paid for us to release it. Wow. But it was like. I hadn't seen this guy in forever, and he paid for the actual release of that. And it was like, we went full circle with... with Good deal, from, man. Yeah, so... And in fact, the show that we were just at last night, the Parasites played, I, I I got him, like... We couldn't play it, but I set it up, and I made sure the schfucks were on it, too. So, like, I've given whatever I can give him, because he's a, he's been a good guy, and he's been a good supporter for... 20 years. Well, it sounds like it, yeah. He's still putting out plenty of bands on his label, too. Yeah, yeah. So, Wise is still doing a lot of stuff. Like, yeah, he puts out, he puts out quite a bit of stuff. And it's like all, all, all punk stuff, but... So, anyway, Wise Ass Records. Wise Ass Records. Dot, dot com? I don't know. <laughs> just look, just Google it. Yeah, it's dot, a, dot gov. It's on the Facebook. What? It's on the Facebook. Yeah, pull like, it up. It's, it's weird, man. It's like, it's... All the stuff is out now, you know, I'm like... A little older, and it's like you know, I'm like kind of not say I'm getting into no, Twitter. Wait, what? A little older than what? <laughs> Give me a number. I bet we're older. I doubt it. I bet. Fifty. Yeah, you're old as fuck. <laughs> no, no. Forty-nine. I'll be fifty in June. Yeah, no, no. Forty-six. Close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close. We're old. Yeah, we're old. We're old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we look like you look like baby face, just like I us. Know. You don't look like you dye your hair. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I dyed it with gray. <laughs> got some grays in there. No, but it's it's weird, man, because like even with this whole thing, I'm really kind of have to learn, you know, learn like Facebook in and out for advertising, and Twitter in and out for advertising, Inst learning how to do Instagram, and it's all about the hashtags and the hat signs. And you know, my girlfriend's great with it. I'm just like, you mean pound? Is it pound? Is that what it is? I don't even fucking call it. No, it's goddamn pound. Is no, pound? Knows what a, no, no, nobody knows what the fuck pound is anymore. I don't even know what a pound is. No, 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 no. Remember, pounds are, but remember on your sign. Remember the sign. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pound. Is it pound? Yeah, but the, but then they started calling it hashtag. I was like, you mean fucking pound? You <laughs> fucking idiots. Yeah, but I don't but, know, man. It's a, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, but if you did your website and you go pound worm suicide, they're like <laughs> pound what? What? I don't know. What's a pound? pound? Yeah, they don't know. What you're How about a half a pound? Wait, you got that? <laughs> no, we're kidding. We only do pound. I don't, I don't, I don't do drugs anymore. 
I don't got know. Any? Less. <laughs> you got any? You got any? <laughs> All right, hey, guys, if you got cocaine, give it to Bobby. No, no I'm good. I'm good. No. <laughs> no, man, but it's just, it's, it's just weird to think about, like, all, you know, like, like, back 20 years ago, if we had, like, what we have now, back 20 years ago, the shit we could have done, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, it, well, it's just, I don't know, man, I think about it all the time for some weird reason, because as I get older, I'm, I'm like, man, you know, what, what, what could we have done back 20 years ago with all of our stuff? All right, so go back, to, go back right now, go back 20 years, go back to high school, and what's your, what's your podcast called? 20 years. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I made you, I made you young. Fucking 30. No, no, no. So, all right. Go back 42 years. 42 now, years. Now, now you're like a senior and you get ready to graduate. Shit, that you know, back to his no, no, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying, but what would your shit be back then? Fuck, I don't even know. Like, I'm saying, but where, where are your homeowners? Your, your homeowners? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. like, 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 yeah, like, uh, yeah, smash some beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> you guys are going to talk this about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who's got the cracker? Who's got the cracker? Yeah. <laughs> is that old school? Uh, I, I guess. No. I, I know what a cracker is from where I come from. It is. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. The oh. last person to come eats a cracker. Salute. Salute. Yeah. I've got water over here, but you know. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's disgusting. <laughs> you guys are shit. <laughs> you guys are shit. Yeah, turn out. Turn out. This is this. Uh, All the people listening, uh, y'all are shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is there like a chat room going on? No, I don't know. I don't pay attention to it. Yeah, I mean, everyone, yeah. He's like, what are y'all just babbling out about nothing? Let's get into some good shit here, you know? What do you want to know? What do you, let's, 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 get, let's get dirty. Let's, let's get, get dirty? dirty? Yeah, let's this get is dirty. your episode, man. We can talk about whatever you want to. So, Scott, go. I wanted, like, a, you know, but my thing was because I knew, you know, I know you guys have been around for such a long time. I've heard the name for years off and on, you know? And I was just, like, wanted to know the history of the band because it's been, it's been a good run for you guys, you know? You don't hear many bands being around for... I mean, off and on for 20 years. And, and, How many and, of them? I mean, well, and to, to be so substantial like us and, and fucking amazing. Yeah, and even after 20 years, I mean, you, you're, you win the AMA for the best punk band in Austin. Yeah, I mean, because we're incredible. <coughs> nice. You got the fantastic. That's what it is. Yeah, here's it's the true. thing. When we started, true. when we started in, in 90, or was it early 96? When we used to go to Houston? Mm, probably. All right, so... Yeah. So I was not the original singer for Warm Suicide. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not a lot okay. Of people know that. Oh my God. Okay. <clears throat> so how long did the original singer last for? Uh, one practice. One practice. Well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, but you're you, the original. <laughs> right, no, no here, here's what it was though. All right. So Scott was going to Houston. Okay. And Houston was our old drummer. From Carpet Fish that me and him were in from ninety to ninety two. Okay. So the drummer lived there, and uh, a couple, how about just we won't say names, just a couple some of, other other guys, a couple, couple other guys that, that we had then had kind of got together to start a band with me. Yeah. That were in Houston. So he was going up there. How many times he gone up there? Like three, four times. Before? Yeah, just rehearsing and. So so he'd gone up there three or four times and and was working on some stuff with them. And so Scott and me are very much about. Like product, right. so Scott was already fucking with lanyards and stuff, and he they had decided he had decided. I think you had decided the name. Yeah. So he decided yeah. he had decided. Right. So what's behind the name then? We'll get there. We'll get okay, there. We're getting there. Yeah, and you're not going to get there. That was so, like the first question I was going to ask you. That what's someone is working. So 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 we would, he would go up there and do a practice and work, and then at the house he had this lanyard with Worm Suicide on it, and it was uh, off a of dot matrix. But dot, that was it. What it is? It dot, was a dot matrix printer. Yeah. yeah so it was like, yeah. yeah. Awesome. And then, yeah. then he laminated. He made some. Yeah. It's the same. So I went over to his house, and I had uh, we were talking about this whatever, and I wrote a song called Cleansing Man. Did I write it there at the house? Probably. Yeah. yeah. So I wrote. I wrote. I wrote a song called Cleansing Man. Okay. So I wrote the song, and Scott played it on his guitar, and we wrote it. Together, like right there, we laid out the music, right? So he laid out the music to Cleansing Man. So he's laying it out. I go with him to practice the next day, and we present that song. So I wrote it that night. We go the next day to practice, and we fucking play the song. He shows him the beats, and, and, it, and, and Cleansing Man ends up being like like our first song. Yeah, pretty much. So we get there, and they're like, hey... They play it, and it's a good song, and then they go through the set that where Scott's singing, actually. 
So Scott's actually the first. Actually, the first. Singer. Scott is the first singer of Warm Suicide. Oh, okay. Well, so he, then he does count them. Yeah. So we go up there and I do my song. Then we finish practice. Like I just did that. They, they did the regular stuff. And then we came back. And they told Scott, hey, hey, just real quick, we don't want Pablo to sing. We don't want him in this band. <laughs> and, and not because they wanted to go a different angle. They wanted to go a different direction. They wanted Scott, and they wanted somebody else. And they, this was 95 and a half, 96. Yeah. Right? yeah. Like early 96. So they wanted to go more of a direction of, a, uh, it's fucked, but they wanted to go more rap core. Wow. So, that's, I mean, that's, yeah, that's but, just but, a thing. Yeah. But, yeah, but, but the guy who was going to do it was going to be doing like a fucking uh, a Rage. Was Rage around back then? Uh, yeah, they were. Mm -hmm. But it was that, to that, to yeah, that yeah, effect. Yeah. To that yeah. effect. Yeah. So, so they said no. And then they were talking about like doing rap stuff. And then Scott was like, no. I said no. No, to, to not, not, not because I was, but because the direction they wanted to go with the, with. So if it's not Scott singing, then it's a rapper. So, right? Pretty much. Yeah, yeah, roundabout, yeah. Yeah, not quite. We just didn't, creatively didn't, we were diff doing different things. So, so, so yeah, Worm Suicide's not a rap core band. <clears throat> so, like Limp Bizkit or something? Yeah, like. yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. Like that, that was big at the time. No, I mean, no, no, right, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, and then what happened? Yeah. Fucking died. I mean, everything has its time, I mean, you know. It's just... Yeah, but we don't. You just do what you want to do. Yeah. So, yeah. so the thing, it just, it, it was, a, a, we agreed to disagree. In fact, I don't even remember if I was trying to join the band back then. But when they were saying no and they wanted to go rap, I think he said no to that. Yeah. I, and so he took the name and said no. So, so he came back home and just said, you guys do whatever you want. I'm taking the name. Or something, but something I'm, I'm keeping the name and... So then he was here, and we started, and then it was me and him, and then uh, we bought the, the, you had the task cam. Yeah, we bought the drum machine, and I just laid out everything for a, for a whole, the first record. Yeah, and, he, and we didn't know how to lay it out, so Scott. I, I mean, you do what you gotta do to get drum Yeah, track. like, well, we didn't know how to do it, but at the same yeah. time, if you- I know exactly what you're talking all right, about. So, so if you have the drums, like here, so you figured out the drums, right? Yeah, yeah. So he's playing them, so he's he's playing along with his, his own guitar. You couldn't figure out how to loop them? No. It was, it we was didn't a learning thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, well, I, right. I had the same machine. I know you're exactly what you're talking about. I did the same thing yeah. I was doing mine. But at the same time, when he's doing it like that, the drums sound more natural. Yeah, because yeah. it's there's because it, it's like like the timing and the, and the pads were sensitive, so the harder you hit the little button, the harder the drum hit is. So there's a variation, you know, like a drum loop is the same generally all the way through. Yeah, like yeah. it's gonna be it's only pristine. Ours wasn't pristine, so we did a cassette, and that was me and him, and we started with uh, what was the first one? Um, Hog. I believe. Did we did Hog. No, uh, what was the, the album? Album? first album? Oh, the Suicide Sessions from the Depths of Hell. Yeah, the so first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, was the cassette. So that was me and him. So what we did is we did this cassette, the Suicide Sessions. So it was just me and Scott, and then I don't play anything. So he played guitar and, and nobody else. Did you play bass on? No, that? I played all the stuff. Yeah, so he played everything. So what we would do is we would bounce everything to one track. So drums, guitar, all that. Like remember the old school? Yeah. Bounce everything to one, and now you've got room for other. But get your shit set, because you can't fix it after that. So bounce it, and now you've got a, a backup vocal, and then you've got a solo. It was minimal. It was like yeah, like no, I'm saying, but like yeah, you couldn't do a whole. But I'm saying, but like you could throw a so, you could throw a solo on top yeah. of it. And, 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 I mean, everybody did demos yeah. like that back then. That's that's all we had. Yeah. You know? So so yeah. we did that, and then we would take um, a bunch of paper and, and print it and and lay out pictures, and then we'd make this our cassettes. Yeah. So we made our cassettes, and we would go ahead and make like twenty cassettes. And then we'd go to punk shows and we'd sell our cassettes at your show. Yeah, yeah we did that. <laughs> yeah. We did do that. Yeah, so we would go wow. in, so we'd walk in with a box of, of, of cassettes and we would sell our cassettes awesome. at other people's shows. <laughs> and what did they say? They didn't, they, we, they most of the time right? it was people that we knew that were playing. Yeah, yeah. And, and so nobody ever fought us on it, but that's still fucked. That's, yeah, you think about it now, going, eh, that's not too cool. No, yeah, you no. set up merch now, and kick butt, and you're not playing. You're yeah, yeah, like happen. that's. I mean, like if you think about those, the, the fucking. Think about doing that last night. 
Yeah, we were. Yeah, but I'm saying up in the corner, just like. You but know. but you think about the audacity of that. Like now, like that sounds kind of fucked. Yeah. We go to your show. We walk in with our box. We probably were friends with that, so we didn't even pay. And then we just set our table down and like open up our box and now our shoe box and, and we're, drinking their bar tab. And, and, yeah, and we're selling we're selling our we're selling our cassettes to you for like two bucks. And and then because of that. We uh, the first gigs. No, no, no. We, the first show. No, the first stuff. The first show we ever played, we headlined, based off our cassette. That's awesome. We we fucking we we took the cassette. We rounded up a band. We we got a drummer, uh, who failed at drumming. Yeah, the original drummer. The original, the original drummer. Yeah, the original drummer had a drum. Uh, okay, so he was the original drummer because he had a drum kit. No, was that couldn't play. Uh. No, honestly, no. He, he he was a guitarist and he couldn't play. He couldn't play drums, but he had a drum kit. So we went to his house and he, he had been listening to the cassette and he auditioned and he wasn't that good. But he was a guitarist. So we were like, so we had a friend over there and he was going to play bass, but then he got on the drums and he was showing him how to play. Right. And I was like, why don't you just play drums? And since you have a guitar, you could, you might be able to play guitar. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the, but he, he ended the, up picking up the bass. So the, the the drummer, we were like, okay, you will play, since you play guitar, you're going to play bass while you learn how to get the, the beats down. Okay. So it was a temporary thing. So we told him it was going to be a temporary thing, and then the bass player went to drums. This is the craziest shit I've ever heard, but it's all right. <laughs> and ended up playing drums for the rest of the time. So yeah. he played with us like the so... The guitarist, the, the guitarist who was the original drummer, played with us for two years. Er, er, yeah. Er, so yeah. Aaron's boomstick he ended up playing with us for two years as our bass player. And wow. He's, yeah. So he just stayed there. I said, well, you know what? You're fine there. Stay there. The drummer who was going to be our original bass player stayed on for like four years. <laughs> and the original singer just went straight to guitar. And some singing. Yeah. And, and then... It's like the guys in Dongle <laughs> do the same thing. So. All right. So the thing is... If you listen to our style and stuff, so now I'm the singer, okay? Well, I'm, I, I'm, I don't have that confidence. So if you listen to our stuff, we do a lot of trade-off. I'm a very, I, and I'm not a lot of talking shit, but I'm very good at writing. Okay. I can write catchy stuff, and the reason I write catchy stuff is because I want to put the mic to you, because I don't want to sing. I want to hide behind it because oh, okay. I don't like to sing. Okay. So what I started to do was I would write a nice fucking four, and then I would write another nice four, and I would give it to him. So Worm Suicide song, if you listen to our stuff, it's always a trade-off between me and Scott. It's because I hate my voice and I don't want to be. I don't want you to look at me for that long. I don't. So what, I would, what, what don't you like about your voice? I just never liked it. I just don't like it because I, I don't want you to. I don't want you looking at me at it. <laughs> That's how no I'm saying like yeah, that's weird. why are you like why yeah. are you singing in a band then? That is weird. <laughs> yeah, you no, know, I've always been like, eh, like it sucks, it sucks. So but it's okay for me to do my four bar, I give Scott four bar, and my shit's real catchy. Yeah, so yeah. now I give the mic to the crowd to finish up the vocal. Okay. So boom, boom, boom. Now I'm not all weirded out about it because we're all doing it. Okay. I see Jameson saying. helps though. Yeah. No, no, so so whiskey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's kinda but that's why I was liquid, liquid, liquid courage. Yeah, yeah. So, so, I, so I, I didn't like it, I, and I still don't. That's kind of weird, though. No, no, but it's, it's been like that forever. So, so I got, I've gotten better. Is, but it, you, is it like you just don't like your voice, or no? I hate my voice. No. I mean, you just don't think you can sing, or no? Like, yeah, yeah, no, never. You ever think about like maybe taking like vocal lessons? No, like no, kind no, of, nothing, no, nothing no, like no, that. No, no, because I, I don't want to make my, my, I don't want to, like it's like. To me, it's like it, it, like if I'm right here, I'm holding this, yeah. and I'm cleaning it, and yeah. it's a turd, and you're like, that turd is really clean. No, I mean, but, but yeah, a lot but of people, a lot of people take vocal lessons, not like just to learn how to sing right because they fuck their vocal cords. No, up. No, no, I just, I know, no, no, it's not about that. I just, oh, okay. I just don't like hearing myself. Okay. Hey, quite, quite honestly, I mean, they play so much. If you listen to the new album as compared to the stuff they recorded when they thought they were recording a reunion, he has found his voice. Okay. Like his voice, his vocals are so much better. Alright, so let's just say that's true. But at the same time, because the way we started with the trade-offs, with the with my vocal and his vocal, if you listen to our vocal styles, he has more of like a like a Ian McKay. Okay. Where I'm more of a Rollins. So 
it just it start it just works for us to do it like that. So when we trade off, it works, and that just became our sound. And so now when I write, I write you purposely. Write, write me a vocal too. You to to do that vocal because that's the worm sound. The worm sound is this not him coming in as an accompaniment, but he needs that's his own vocal. Yeah, yeah, because that's the way worm sound. Okay. So that ended up because of my 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 feeling and my paranoia and my me not liking it, that turned into our style. So even if I'm very confident on one particular day, yeah. I'm still gonna write that song with him doing a, 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 a chunk somewhere. If it's not a, a complete, he's still gonna get his own part and it's gonna, maybe it's gonna be the breakdown or something because our sound with the hard and, the, and his high it works, and that's the worm sound. That's just what it Wait, is. Wait, can you listen to yourself on the CD and, and you you cringe at all, or just no, no? I'm, I'm a, like I, I, I can I can do that because that's already there's nothing I can do about that. Right. There's nothing. I know I know people in bands that listen to their like their own music and just like cringe. They're like, oh, I could have done that so much better. Uh, you no, know, no, whatever. sorry. I no, 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 like, no. I can't do that because I don't think I could have done it better. Yeah. I just, I just don't, I don't like it. I'm just like, whatever, that's done. So when we used to do stuff, when we would do like a, an EP or something, I would do what one track, one record, mm -hmm. one, one through and done. Yeah, unless I made you do another one just in case one like, yeah. was better. So every, yeah. So when we did vocals, I would do one run and that was it. So what I did, that's what you're gonna hear on like the best of and all that stuff from from ninety ninety eight to two thousand two. That was all probably one, or maybe probably one take, yeah. One take stuff, yeah. because I didn't want to do it again. I was done. I was out. But at the same time, I wrote stuff like he then and, and retard and stuff. I saw. I listened to the retard thing today. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like it's. It, I want to write fucked up stuff, but I want it to be fun. I want <clears> you to have fun being talking about retards. <laughs> I was listening to it today, and you have like a little intro part, and you have an outro part for it. Yeah, yeah. I was like, man, this is funny. I mean, it's like it's something you, like you don't want to laugh at, but, but it's, it's yeah, funny. Yeah. You know, I mean, I but know. and that's how we. That's how we. Don't so laugh. Don't laugh. And it's like, yeah, yeah. And that's how I was wrote. Is like I want you to have a good time with it. And and same yeah, thing yeah. When, when we're talking like when we do songs like daughter and stuff. That's fucked up because I'm like, <laughs> here's a song about fucking your daughter. And then it says it's fucked up, but at the same time. We make it real catchy, and you want to sing along. <laughs> make it real catchy. You gotta, you gotta make it like a Saturday morning cartoon. You you want to sing along to us fucking your daughter? <laughs> <laughs> Some don't, but yeah, uh, you know, I'll try to throw it. Yeah, I, I did get thrown off the stage and smashed on the ground one time. Did you really? Yeah. Oh boy. It had nothing to do with that. No, 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 no. no. It was just during it. It was. It just happened to be during that. So if any time we get any kind of shit, it's usually during daughter. But like this time, I, I got pulled off the stage and thrown on the ground. I didn't know I was in a fight. So this girl. <laughs> I didn't know I was in a fight. No, no. Right. Did a punk show. None of us did. So right now, weird. right now you're at a punk show. Right. Okay. You're sitting in the front. And you're having a good time. Some right. dude hooks you around the neck and just pulls you. Are you in a fight, or does he want you to dance? Who knows? No, exactly. But most likely, you're gonna go like, okay, he's not punching me, so we're right, we're doing we're just gonna. He's overexcited. So he's overexcited. yeah, yeah, yeah he just, he's having a good time. That's it. So I was on stage, and this this uh, uh let's be nice about this. <laughs> this savage Indian girl jumps on stage. Savage Indian girl. Yeah. Okay. So she jumps on stage, uh, and I think. That she wants to, she got, she's drunk, she wants to dance, and she grabs me. So I don't fight her, and, and whatever, I go with this. And then I come to the stage, and then, like, her, her butt's facing the, the stage, like the, the, the crowd. So I see on video, I see a hand push her back. She turns around, and then I fell, and I landed on my elbow. Boom, landed okay. back down. So I get up, and I'm like, oh, that sucked. So I get up, jump back on stage, finish the song. I think it's done. So we that's the last song. We're done. I tell Beth, let's go outside. I'm hot. I'm hot. And my arm hurts. I'm hot. We go outside. And then we come back in. I just need to cool off for a minute. No, we're standing outside. Somebody came out and told us that chick is on the mic talking <laughs> right. about your white privilege. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. So, so I'm oh, like, man, okay, let's get to that part. That's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's real exciting. Right All there. right, so I'm, like, so I'm like, wait, what? So, so I go in and she's like, I'm white privilege. Blah blah. She's saying some stuff, and I'm like, she's talking about something about American Indians. Yeah. All right. So oh, she's saying white privilege. She's saying how I've been holding back 
the Native Americans with my white privilege, and she's starting to, starting to, she's so, so now, now I'm kind of mad. <laughs> because initially, I thought that she wanted to dance, and right, she right, got right, overzealous, right. and then I, I got close to the edge of the stage, and I fell. So I'm not mad at her about that. And, at the, right. and, and in the crowd, that's what it looks like as it happens. Yeah, it's and, really fast. And I'm still thinking the entire time. I'm still thinking, now I'm thinking that, wait, no, you're being a bitch. And, but I still think I fell. Okay, so I, I'm just like, you grabbed me, yeah. and I got to the edge, and I fell. So I, I fell off the stage. But you're still being a bitch at my show, and, and you're doing white privilege thing. <laughs> So she's, she's so she's telling me that like I'm white privilege and Bobby's white privilege, a bass player, right, right. and I'm like and I'm like I'm Pablo, and it's like she's like you're, you're Pablo, yeah. She's like so you're holding back like Indians and stuff like that. So I'm 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 drunk, but at the same time I'm like confused. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was like in a different kind of confused. So like I just know I, I yelled at her like 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 I, there was a That's dude crazy man. There was a dude with her, and I'm like dude. I can't hit her, but I'm gonna fuck you up. So like, he's not drunk. This, this poor guy doesn't know what's going on. No, 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 no. He, I, that's what I thought. And I just thought. So he just waves it off, gets her, and so, so that's done, right? Yeah. So what I watched the video. So I posted this video of, of me somebody, falling down. Some- so a couple of different people yeah. posted Post a video like, of me yelling because I'm like, you fuck with me, I'll fuck your ass. Oh, hey so, Yeah, so yeah, I'm like, so I, I give her like a, a, an invitation to the party. So, but at the same That's time. an invitation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, so, but I'm just like, all right, whatever. Like, she got on her soapbox and she made this big Native American speech, which is which is fine, but inappropriate because we, we like, like, I'm not a pilgrim. I didn't fucking, like, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. like, this, this isn't. I didn't do anything against Native Americans, and and this song isn't about Native Americans. And you're not white. Yeah, no. Oh, and, and that's the other thing. That's the, that's the part. That's the part I was. I didn't want to like say. <laughs> I was like going. Yeah. So so yeah. White privilege. Yeah, but I didn't. But, but I didn't smash it with my white privilege. So 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 I'm like, all right, whatever. This is fucked. And I told her, get the fuck out. You need to go. And 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 because um, I don't want to because it's it's our friend's uh, record release, so we're not trying to ruin. We're not trying to ruin. They're, they're up next. We're not trying to ruin this show. So I just maybe think, the, maybe their bailing's a white privilege. No, I was saying, but like yeah. whatever. But you aren't going to ruin this show, and I'm not going right. to go over the top and right. fucking ruin it. But I'm telling you, fuck you. All right. That's, yeah. Uh, fuck, you're no, good. You're no, good. No, but I hit the firm words. No, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. So I, I so so. so then I get home and I watch the video, like, and I'm like, ah, oh, that's fucked, that sucks. And then I look, and when I get to the stage, when I when I get to the edge, her boyfriend reaches up and he grabs me. Oh shit! He pulled you off. And he oh, bites me up. on the ground. And I I thought I fell. Was he Indian too, or? Yeah. No, no, we we Native American. Native American. Yes. Native American. Was he there? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Not, not, we think. Yes. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and I did. Some, I made this mistake one time. I said not dot, but but, and people got mad. So. Well, I mean, you got to realize, I mean, yeah. I try to be politically correct, but sometimes I say, you know, I'll say Indian. Yeah, and uh, we'll do that. The Tom no, no, like, you know, uh, 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 Yeah, yeah. But I don't anyway, get any bad by it. I mean, it's just, you know. But I do now because of you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, but so, like, I, did, I, I didn't know. First off, I didn't know I was in a fight. Right. Secondly, I didn't know I was white privilege. And third, you didn't know he got pulled up. No, no. He got home. So like, yeah, yeah. So that's when the dude I was telling him, like, I can't touch her, but I'll fuck you up. Right. Uh, he was the one who fucked me up. Yeah. yeah. Sad reacts only, guys. Fuck. Sad reacts only, guys. That's messed up, man. Yeah. Sad reacts. Hey, so, uh, Worm Suicide, what's, what's, what's the name? It's got to tell you about that. I'm so going to go. You're, I, you're I, not going to get out of this thing. No, no, I'm going to go Crohn's. <laughs> Again? Fuck, don't give me, don't make me sit out in front of your fucking house for an hour and then like... I thought you'd be here at 715 and you rolled up a half an hour early. Wait for me. You have to take off your headphones. <laughs> <laughs> Is that work? Yeah. Fucking ass hanging out. Look at him. Looks like a truck driver. That Crohn's. That's a Crohn's? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so what's up with the worm suicide name? That's, uh, I'm only supposed to say big old fat titties to any question I don't want to answer. Well, that's cool. All right. So, yeah. Next question. <laughs> no, that's a, it's a long thing. Um, it's not something that we talk about. Okay, that's cool. But uh, he used to say, if you take warm suicide on a piece of notebook paper and write it backwards with a Sharpie and then hold it up to the mirror 
that you'll find out what it means. So you can explore that. I'm gonna have to do that if you guys leave. Just remember what you Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's cryptic. Yeah, it's a cryptic kind of a thing. It's a but catchy. It's, it's a it catchy stuck, name, It is stuck. Yeah. Pretty. Uh, pretty well. Now we have you know pentagrams and penises and. Pentagrams and penises. That's a. That's a. That's an album title right there. That could be an EP. That's yeah. an EP. Yeah. Pentagrams and penises. <laughs> I'm sure we could draw that. Just imagine the artwork. Hey, we, we figured out a new name for your EP. What do you got? Pentagrams and penises. Yeah. <laughs> Penagrams. Penagrams. Penis-grams. Penis and grams. Songs almost... about songs about dicks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. So, you want to hear about songs about dicks? I'm sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Songs about dicks. So, one of our first koozies had a beautiful logo on it, and on the back it said songs about dicks. So that was our thing. So, so after that, everything turned into about dicks. <laughs> dicks and devils, dicks and devils. Because it's, to us, it's funny, because everybody's like, they don't... Devil dicks. No, if you look at all the, all the, the, the punk bands, the metal bands, all that, everybody wants to be badasses, and nobody wants to have fun. Yeah, they want to be tough. They want to like, here, look at this one. What, what, all right, put a, put an orb in there with some lightning. Yeah, that's fucking awesome. All right, so I mean that's weak as shit. All right, that's boring and and like whatever. That's fine. You guys, you no, you look good with the orbs. They don't. It's weak as shit. All right, so what we did is we did the same mistake initially at the first like for the first five seconds of a show. Is all right. Here we go. Here we go. Look at me. Look at me. This, you're, watch, you're, no, you're watching a band. Hey, this next song is about perseverance, about trying to grow up in a society that's... Okay, all right, you're already done. See, look, you looked away. That's boring <laughs> as fuck, right? Who gives a shit? Like, your shit is pointless and boring because all you're doing is telling me every time that when you go through society and it holds you down and you're trying to you step forward and you're like, shut the fuck up because you're boring as Fuck. Right, right. So what I used to do is instead I was like I, I would I said this song's about this. So instead I would go like this song this song's about dicks. <laughs> and I was like <laughs> Alright, so so that's what we started harping on. So the next song and I was like, this next song is coincidentally about dicks. Yeah. Who cares? Because if you want to know, buy the fucking C D. And right, then you can right, figure right. out what these songs about. So I was like, what is this song about? And everybody's like, dicks. dicks. <laughs> yes. So then that became our thing. So everything was about dicks. And then everybody who came to our show after that thought that every song that we did was about dicks. Oh, and we, no. have, we have exactly zero songs about dicks. And that became our thing. And it was beautiful. And I loved it because... <laughs> Fuck you, because that's... Because everybody thought it was about dicks, but you had no songs about dicks. No, not at all. Be, but I would just tell you it's about dicks. If you want to know what it's about, buy the CD. Or go. download it, whatever. There you go. But everybody who... Uh, real quick, if you're a band and you want to tell me what your song is about, don't, because you're boring as fuck. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was like... Yeah, when I grew up in uh, this song, like... I was in school when this girl, she was... Uh, I loved her. But she didn't know it. So every day I would pick a flower and I would stick it into her mailbox. And I would put I would put that in her mailbox. And when she came out to wait for the bus, she looked at this flower. And this flower was for her. But she didn't know it. She never knew it was me. And then she died of AIDS. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Fuck your boring ass story. The song's about dicks. <laughs> That's where that came from. Yeah. yeah. No. Oh. Actually, though, now I want to know what happened really to that girl. Mm -hmm. Like, I talked myself into. I want to know what happened to her. Like, uh, I don't think she really died of AIDS. I, I hope not. No, she That'd eventually cool. did. No, she eventually did. She did heroin. She, she was sharing needles. Oh, that's not. That's tragic. Not good. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, she she did good. She was in a playground. Like she built playgrounds for kids. <laughs> and. Uh, she built playgrounds for kids? Yeah, but she was the first one to do, to do the rubber tire clipping so you don't fall and get hurt. Oh, that's very nice of her. Yeah, that's very yeah. nice. And then she got AIDS. And then she got AIDS and she died. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. Terrible. Fuck. <laughs> that's you, girl.
No, but I was going to, yeah, but I, I threw a, like, oh, uh, yeah. I was going to, I didn't want to pour it. Oh, I'll pour it. Yeah. No, I'm not going to pour it. I didn't you know, yeah. we don't waste the, the, the fine nectar. <sighs> now I'm upset. Now I'm upset about that. Hey, girl. you know what? But I want, I want to bring it, I was just looking at that and I'm thinking of one thing. Um, cock. <laughs> besides cock. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when the awards come up this year, mm. after the best of Austin, get that out of the way. Yeah. Well, Hall of Fame this year. Yes. Dave Pruitt for Hall of Fame. Yes. Awesome Hall of Fame. Yeah, I'm, yes. a, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to vote against. Oh, really? You vote for yourself? Yeah. I'm going oh, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to try and take his vote. You're going to try to take his vote? Okay, so it's going to be between me and him. Okay. I won't have enough. You won't have enough, so you have to take some of his votes. No, no. I won't have enough to get it, but everybody knows me, so they're going to give me some, but right. it'll be split between me and him. He'll win. I hope, yeah. I'll no, 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 no. He's definitely, no, he's definitely. Oh, he's a show win. Yeah, yeah. But I'm gonna go ahead and, and erase all the other people. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, oh. I think last year what we did was tell everybody to vote Worm Suicide for every category on the ballot. <laughs> yeah, we did that. Yeah, yeah. You guys just won everything. <laughs> yeah, we, we yeah, we, we were dicks. Like that. <laughs> that would have been awesome if you like won just about everything. No, so uh, wait, wait. So who's our electronic band? Who do we want them to vote for? Do you know the dance? Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio. Scorpio Rising. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 All right. So what we usually do is we, we, we give you like four. So it would be Dave Pruitt. Your little, your little thing here. <laughs> your little thing. Your little thing here. Scorpio Rising for electronic and for dance. Worm for uh, best new band and best punk band. Mm-hmm. Give us two, I, two yeah, chances. To yeah, because I think we, I think we went for that. We've tried to get best new band. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can pull that one off. It, no, it's a popularity contest. All yeah, it's, 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 totally it is. Yeah. So long as you get the votes, it's legit. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the weird thing because there's people like that getting getting nominated for stuff that like they shouldn't be getting nominated for. I'm not going to mention any names exactly. of the bands yeah. because yeah, this is yeah, insane. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of going. How did that person win it, win it for that? That makes no sense. No, Zero. exactly. Yeah, yeah. It, and it was and and not knocking them, but the same thing when Days and Days got best. Yeah. Punk at a at a hardcore metal show. Right, right, right. They got it for the popularity, and I get that. But at the same time, right. once they listened to them, they decided they didn't fit. We well, fit. all I can say is, people, when the awards come up. Hall of Fame, Dave Pruitt. He's got to go in. We got to get him in there. So this is the year. He's got a lot of people that will help. That will do that. All right, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna start a campaign every, out here. So. Every All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you my problem with that. <laughs> <laughs> you got a problem with that? No, no. You, okay. Good God. No, I have a problem with the vote. Such a dick. No, let me tell you what, what I have a problem with. Not so much with Dave with that. There's been this thing where best photographer. Right. Right. Okay, all you fucking cum dumpsters, <laughs> Dave has been at all your fucking shows, and not enough of you could fucking raise your hands to click Dave for the photographer. There's no reason he should have won because of the amount of people he knows. You think about all the photographers who won? Yeah. They won off of, like, they, they did big shows and stuff like that. But the votes they got... It wasn't these, it was like, the, I took pictures of, like, whatever, this big band. Okay, but he took pictures of 150 of your shitty bands. Yeah. And not enough of you cunts got together to vote for him. Yeah. I voted for him. He's That's true, though. Yeah, no, you make a good point, though. So you look at look at, look at at all the guys who won. And, and they're friends of ours, like, who won, like, some of those, uh, the best photographer. But at the same time, they're doing, like, the big shows, the big fucking shows. So everybody at that show that they're taking a picture of is not voting for them. Yeah. So they took a picture of Primus. Okay, Primus isn't voting for you, but your shitty band should be voting for Dave. Yeah. Because he sat there and listened to your garbage. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> or so, maybe very good music. Or, 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 or maybe. No, 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 no. Let, let's, get, let's get real here. <laughs> All right. When we play, okay. when we play shows... Right? We're the best band there. Okay. Yeah. True? Yeah. We should be. Yeah. No, no, we, we are. Be. We are. We are. Okay. We're the greatest band there because we are the best band according to that award. 
Right. So no matter what happens, as long as Worm's there, it's going to be a good show. So, so right now, if I had a turd and I'm digging through it, right? I'm just breaking this turd up. That's the first three bands. I'm just, I'm just breaking this up. And then all of a sudden, I find a diamond. And that's you. That's us. <laughs> so you guys have been doing good being that turd that we play with. And we appreciate that. But we're the diamond that makes everything happen. But anyway, I thought this was about Dave. Yeah, okay, yeah. no, no, I'm gonna get back to yeah, that. Yeah. No, 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 I'm, get, I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. Let me, let me, okay, let me okay. circle around. Let me circle around. Okay, okay. So all right. Around. So, being that we are that diamond in this turd of your bands, we voted for Dave instantly. So all you shit bands should have <laughs> voted for Dave, like, like automatically, but you didn't. So I'm disappointed in you. He took a picture of your shit band. I took a picture of your shit band. And you didn't vote for Dave. Dave should have been the best photographer. Well, see, here's the deal. So we can, we can rectify that situation this year. I want him to have best photographer and Hall of Fame. He needs Hall of Fame is going to be number one. Yeah. Okay. All right. I, Hall I of agree. Fame is number All one. All right. So you guys, you, this is you. <laughs> the crumble bits. The crumbled bits, okay. The crumbled bits, I need you guys to okay, fucking like so step up. to be fair, up. he's really good to the local scene. He's oh, I know he is, I know, I know. <laughs> no, no, but, I'm just letting him go. No, no, but I don't want to be, because you don't, <laughs> don't want to be. You have not earned it. But anyway, like... You just don't want to be. No, no, I don't, I don't want to be, because I'm disappointed in everything that you did that oh. held Dave down. Oh. Yeah. Truth. Sad reacts. Truth. Speaking of truth. Sad reacts only, guys. But, uh, uh, no, but, guys, I love you guys. Okay. All right. All right. All right. But there's got to be a way we can slander the other guys. <laughs> oh no, man. No, no, no. I can. Okay. Yeah. 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 So at all your shows, just like slander everybody and say vote for Dave. Yeah. Yeah. Because Dave didn't do that with that child. Yeah. Well, like that's the other story. Like the other guys did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That makes everybody wonder. Like, How about what if Dave's talking about me? Yeah. No, no, Dave did. Kind of, they did good. See they your love child somewhere. No, 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 no. They didn't do that oh. with that child. Oh, the other, other guys did. Oh, oh man, my god! Me. You know what? Everybody else is Weinstein. Oh no! Not the, can I bring up Weinstein? No, every other guy but Dave is Weinstein. Oh man, that's messed up. There's a lot of Weinstein's out there, I guess. Yeah. Hey, Dave. I love you, baby. <laughs> Thank you for not Weinsteining me. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Is that what it means? Yeah, very nice. This is yeah. sound great on iTunes tomorrow. I can't yeah. listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the great thing. Of, you know, that's the great thing about podcasting. Is you can get away with anything you want to get away with. No rules. No. No you rules didn't even much. know you wanted this. Yeah, no, I've, had, I've had worse. <laughs> Believe me, I've had worse. This is nothing. You should see your bathroom. I know. Yeah. Crones everywhere. Yeah. Crones. Yeah. Yeah. Corns. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Jack Daniels and corn. Yeah, oh my God. Very nice, man. Very nice. I feel good about what we did today. Uh, me too. Yeah. This is awesome. Are we, still, are we still going? Let's go. Yeah, we're still going. Right. I gotta do some ads here in a little bit. We're almost at two hours right now. All right, let me do the ads. You wanna do the ads? Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. I need some water. Yeah. I'm gonna, do, right. I'm gonna do a roast. Oh, man, what are you drinking? Jim. Oh, Jesus. All right, so what are we doing? Uh, is it. Uh, uh, Blue sausages? Blue whatever. sausages. Blue sausages. That would even sound appetizing. Hey, guys. I'm going to run through real quick. This is Vala here with Blue Sausages. <laughs> we want to thank you for coming in and watching the podcast, but it's time to order your meat by mail. Blue sausages. Meat by mail? <laughs> Blue sausages. Look, in, look, look, look us up. Nine ninety nine a month will get you 14 sausages a, a, a week. <laughs> That's pretty good. I mean, I know. <coughs> yeah, made with the best hemlock. Is, is hemlock a thing? The best hemlock? I don't know. Is that a thing? I, don't I have no idea what you're talking about. So. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Blue sausages. From the makers of... Blue sausages. White sausages. There you go. Yeah. What happened to the white turds? I don't know. They're somewhere. Yeah, the dogs don't even make white turds anymore. They don't make them. <laughs> they don't. Who? When's the last time you saw white dog shit? <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, there. Yeah, you have a dog. When's the last time your dog made white dog shit? I haven't seen white dog shit like down here in Texas. It's always been up north. No, no they don't do it anymore. Why? Because of the the, the, the content of the dog food. Really? It was, yeah, it was more of a like a like a sawdust and a, like yeah, it was it was like yeah, the shit was.
bad for your dog. That's you know what the weird thing about I haven't thought about that in like 30 years. You just brought something I haven't thought about. You're what, no, let's do this. Let's do this. All right. When's the last time you saw white dog shit? I couldn't tell you the exact year. When's the last time you picked it up and rubbed it on your face uh-huh. like it was charcoal? <laughs> Uh, that's been a little, uh, probably never, but, you know, thanks for asking. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, whatever. When's the last time you did it? You know, I can, I can This is why we don't go outside. Yeah, that's why we don't go outside. Does it keep you inside? No, I can remember, I can remember being like, I I swear, like, being like fucking eighth, ninth grade, playing football, falling down, and putting my elbow in some white mounds. But it was dry, it didn't do anything. It just like, like, you you busted some chalk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, it, it was just whatever they were making it out of that time, they outlawed that shit. Wow, I never knew that. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you for telling it me. Was made awesome, of, uh, it was made of AIDS. It was made of AIDS? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, I did not know that either. Well, that's, <laughs> now you know. Now you know, guys. White dog like, shit. like got a ton of knowledge. Yeah, yeah. White dog shit's made of AIDS. <laughs> wow. That's a good one. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go through these sponsors. So All right, let's go. You can maybe help me. Yeah, I got you. I'll, I'll back you up. Okay. But this one is like a non-alcoholic beer, so I'm not sure if you're going to want to help no, me out. No, no, I, I do. I appreciate it. Well, let me have it. Let me taste it. Go. Do it. <laughs> no, this is full of alcohol. No, <laughs> no, this has more alcohol than I've ever tasted in my life. <laughs> this beer is delicious. It's not bad for a non-alcoholic beer. Are you serious? It's not alcoholic. Yeah, look at the look at taste the can. this. This is delicious. Don't look at the can. Don't look at the can. <laughs> Just taste it. That's delicious. Texas Select. Anyways, it's one of the best non-alcoholic beers I've ever taken tasted in my life. <laughs> it's 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 quite refreshing. No, it's not bad though. I mean, yeah, right. I swear I could run track. Anyways, man. Track. So if you're like a designated driver, I mean, if you don't drink, if you want to get home in one piece, you know. Texas Select like non-alcoholic beer. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it short tonight, because <laughs> you know I feel like you don't trust me. No 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 no, it's not that at all. <coughs> oh no, I, no, I fucking love this. No, it's not bad, though. It kind of reminds me of the Montucky. Uh, Cold snacks, yeah yeah, but less like I'm gonna pee less with this one. Yes. This is fucking good actually. It's not, it's not actually it's for a non-alcoholic beer. It's pretty good. No no no, yeah, yeah. it's very good. They've got a good flavor on that. It's yeah. For, it, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give it three robust. Three robust out of how many? Uh, out of uh, 32. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really bad. <laughs> no, no, but like 32 is the negative. Like you're going the wrong way. No, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, no. I'm saying like three, two, one, excellent. Boom. There yeah, you go. No, no. So, so you are so close to excellent. Thank you, Texas Select. Your shit is rad. Let me, let me, let me see it. No, I just gave it to you. That's fresh. All right, give me oh, another wait. one. wait. It's less than 0.5%. You know, they're all, I think they all have like a little bit of it here. No, no, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go with this. I'm going to go <laughs> two thumbs up. Fantastic. I just, I just can't. There you go. I'm going to split. That's okay. But anyway, it. no, uh, Texas Elect, uh, Worm Suicide approved. There you go. Awesome. Yeah, it's a good chaser. It's a good chaser. <laughs> Oh damn! Oh whoa whoa! Oh man! You're gonna, ooh, Jesus. He's gonna crawl. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, he's gonna enjoy my that, that so. like, Holy moly! Just <laughs> down half a bottle of Jack in one shot. Good for you. That's awesome. You all right? Yeah, no, I'm good. Texas Elect from the makers of Texas Elect. Okay, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. You guys know the people at Air Splitting Media? Yeah, Dana. There you go. Yeah, I love Dana. Anyways, that's another one of my sponsors, Ear Splitting no, Media. I love Dana. You want to do the Ear Splitting Media no, for tonight? I just love Dana. You love Dana? Okay. <laughs> you know. Oh, oh, you're still. Uh, sorry. All right, go. You go. You go. Anyways, if you need any kind of uh, social media for your band, your business, your brand, Ear Splitting Media is who you want to call. You know what they do? Help me out. Help me out. You help me out. I thought you knew about them. No? Uh, they came into my house one time and they went to my drawers. <laughs> I was like, Dana, hey, okay, well. I appreciate that. She was like, she was like, shh, you're sleeping. And I was like, Dana, I'm oh, not asleep. My God. I'm not asleep. And Dana was like, you're asleep. And I was like, I'm asleep. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to read the ad. I'm going yeah, to yeah, 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 go with that. <laughs> Anyways, Ear Splitting Media is bringing underground bands above ground and into the spotlight. They are the home of the two YouTube series, 
out on the town and the call online video magazine. Have you been on either of these? Yes, we have. We've been on both. Have you been on both? No, we have never been on any. Okay. No. Uh, no. Your album review will be in the call in December. I think. That's right. Yeah. yeah, we're on the call. Yes. Yeah, the call online video magazine. Yeah. And that's one that's featuring local CD and show reviews. So if you have a CD like Warm Suicide has coming out in December. <laughs> what? You said no, this. The CD is out, but I think that's when her review. Oh no! Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, right. yeah. She, she, I I, we went good. to her house and she was like, "Get away from my door!" And I was like, "Review this! I'll fucking burn your house down." <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Anyways, review it, Dana. She's not. She's. The she's. Fuck! I'm saying. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> I waited in the car. Yeah. <laughs> did you did you really wait in the car? Is this for is this a real story? Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. I was at her I was at her door and I was like, Hey, can you review this? And she was like, What? And I was like, Fucking review it. Okay. And I was like, I kept doing this. Cause I just been I just got out of the gym, so I was pretty jacked. Oh, were you really? Yeah. Nice. Was like, yeah. You flex in front of her? No, I was like fucking chesting her. I just like, fucking chesting her. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Dana. Double and, chesting. No, double chesting. Anyways, ear splitting media is promotion and post contact can take your band from the background into the eyes and ears of people from all over the world. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, anyway, so hit them up on Facebook, uh, on their Facebook page for more info about ear splitting media. It's Dana. Who else is over there? Dana Brooks. No. <laughs> Dana, Derek, Nola, Robert, and Eric. That's the team over there. So. Dot com. Dot com. That's her name. <laughs> Dana, Derek, Brooks. There you go. I got one more sponsor, and that's it. Yeah, let me let me do this one. You don't, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know the sponsor. Yeah, this is, it goes on to uh, trainspotting.com. <laughs> it's uh, the original train spotting video. We want to thank you for coming out and watching train spotting. And this is. Train spotting. Trainspotting.com. There you go. Thank you. Beautiful. Anyways, uh, this is my last sponsor, uh, Crystal Jordan Brand Builders. You know about Crystal Jordan Brand Builders? Yeah, they were. They hit us up and they were like, "We're gonna make you bigger." And I was like, "You can't." And they're like, "You can." And I was like, "Oh my god!" And then we won that. So thank you, Crystal uh, Jordan Jordan Beard Stomper. <laughs> Right. Yeah, but we won the. But anyway, we okay. won the best punk band in Austin based off uh, Crystal Jordan. Uh, Did you? Truck Stompers. Tr truck Stompers. Brand builders. Yeah, fix, fix. close, man. Close. <laughs> just, just, just fucking step in to edit that. Just really no. that's, that's the other thing. I don't edit anything. I'm no, just one of those goes goes Crystal Stompers. <laughs> fucking. Extra but anyways, man, have you ever have you ever ordered any kind of like merch? You know. You, you thought it was, you know, a great price online, and you get it, you know, your T-shirt's got, like, you know, the arms are falling off, and they shrink. Yeah, it's you not know, like fart. Yeah, it, it's terrible no, we've stuff. We've never had that happen. No, no. You never had that happen? No, before? Well, I mean, like, no, no. Before we started dealing with the company we dealt with, it happened 32 times. It happened 32 times? Yeah, so we, we deal with a different company, but before that, 32 times. That's a, I, lot, of, that's a lot of times yeah, to fuck up your merch. I got four shirts that were made out of doo-doo. <laughs> Like like cat doo doo. Wow. Yeah, and I didn't have, I didn't even ask for that. I, I, I could see why you wouldn't ask. No, for I was that. like, yeah, I didn't want that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, man, but you know, you ordered merch online and you just weren't happy with it. You know, maybe find a great price online and decide to wear t-shirts, banners, koozies, whatever. Oh, whatever. Yeah. And you get it, and it's a bunch of junk, man. Oh. Anyways, Crystal Jordan brand builders. What am I gonna say? You know. Will make your shit good as fuck. <laughs> Look, go with that. That's go perfect. With that. That's say perfect. that. Say that. Say that. Anyways, when anytime you use Crystal Jordan Brand Builders for your merch, I mean, if it's T-shirts, I mean, did that, she did that banner. Oh, I haven't even shown you these yet, have I? What are I doing? Are you showing me your dick? No, 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 no. These are the shot glasses I have made up for the podcast. Oh my god! You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a shot <laughs> off these. <laughs> Those are my personal ones. Yeah, I don't, get, I don't give one shit about what any of the words you're saying. Okay, thank you. Anyways, uh, so I, anyway, anytime you use, you know, Crystal Jordan brand builders, man, you know, uh, you're always gonna get quality products. Anything from shirts and koozies to stickers and banners and shot glasses. And shot glasses, they're pretty badass. So, yeah, yeah. Tap, tap that shit. 
So uh, anything from shirts and koozies to stickers and banners, whatever you want your logo on it, you can handle it. So you can find Crystal Jordan on Facebook or on the web at crystaljordan.com. And she's... <laughs> You're right. You keep on the phone. Now I'm good. <laughs> you can find Crystal Jordan on Facebook or on the web at crystaljordan.com. And she spells her name with an I, so it's C R I S T A L Jordan.com. Uh, anyway, so contact her today for a quote, and she will take care of all of you. Crystal, I want you to buy me a tuxedo. Okay. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> about what we did there. Thanks. I mean, we covered all kinds of... We, 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 time, man. we covered some great stuff tonight. We did good. Okay, we, okay, we got like five minutes left, so I'm okay. going to let you do... I'm going to let everybody pimp their stuff, whatever you guys got coming up. I, I, let's go with five minutes and like, let's go like, how racist can we get? No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, racist no, stuff, please. No, no, but I was like... No, but without... Being racist. No, no, no. No, no. No, no, no. Okay, all right, all right, scratch that. We are not in the van. We're not in the van right now, guys. Okay, so, all right, Scott, less hate crime than you usually do. Go. I mean, I don't say This will probably be the last episode of the Cobra Guys podcast. Hey, thanks for coming out to Cobra Guys. Thanks for the past 90 episodes. Yeah, I'm looking. Well, when this stuff comes up again, people. Despite what you said tonight, vote for us. No, oh, no, no, wait, real quick, real quick. Hold it up, hold up. Okay, all you guys who, like, no, 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 not fucking around. You guys don't consider this, like, a real thing, and you don't care about this, and I get that, that's fine. But Worm Suicide fucking loves to win shit. So, they love to win shit. All we're asking you is that instead of taking up our spots, is just go ahead and concede <laughs> and go ahead and, and say vote worm because it'd be fucking brilliant because what we're trying to do honestly like straight up what we want to do here we go here we go I'm going to tell you this okay 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 we want to go ahead and do a song on stage there hasn't been a punk band done a, a, done a song on stage since fucking the, the big boys it's been a while I think the, the big boys were one of the last bands to do a fucking uh, a, a song on stage. All right, if you win, here you go. Your punk band wins right now. You win. We won last year, so you can't get on stage. Why would you get on stage? I don't know. You won't. But we won last year, and we won this year. Help us get on stage. That's all. Your band doesn't deserve it. We okay, okay, what? Well, okay, no, 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 no. uh, no, all right, all right, okay, all right. But anyway, all right. So your band doesn't win. Help us win. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Because we, no, because we want to get on stage. We no, wanna... honestly, that's been his goal since we were at the ceremony. Like the whole. We just we just want to do He's one like, song. I want to I want to play a song here. Yeah, we just want to do one song on stage, and the song that we do, we're gonna change and we're gonna make it just. It's gonna be an awful song. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna, yeah, we're gonna get yeah. wonderful. Yeah, all right. So ev- vote for us, help us win, and we guarantee you we're gonna get offended and kicked off, and we won't be able to play again next year. Awesome. And then you can win. Yeah, you can win after that, and you can suck our jism. Hey, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's good. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's good. And, and with that, it's like right around nine thirty. Then we're gonna wrap this one up. What do you think? I, I'm sleepy as fuck. <laughs> we have to because he's got work tomorrow. And you got work tomorrow, buddy. Gonna... Yeah, I go to five thirty. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Ah. It's like quarter to six, I go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But you didn't drink a bunch of Jack. That's for you. Yeah. yeah. Not bad. Not bad either. Oh. <laughs> that's Jim. No. Oh, yeah, that shit's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. All right. Sad reacts only, fuck asses. Okay. <laughs> and with that, just the Crohn's. Yeah. Hey guys, anytime you feel like you got Crohn's, put your hand in a bottle of uh, cold water. Okay. Yeah. All right, people. Uh, we're gonna sign off now. Uh, <laughs> thanks for tuning in. Uh, I think we had a problem with the, with the YouTube feed tonight. Dave Pruitt told me. 
Yeah, well, I hope you've got YouTube AIDS. <laughs> okay, anyways. <laughs> hey, thank you guys for coming up. Seriously, it's been fun. Hey, it's we had a good time. You know, we're going to be back next week at uh, <laughs> on Wednesday at uh, 9 o'clock. So check us out next week, Wednesday, 9 o'clock. We're going to be back in the studio. Hey. And then we're going to be back on the next week after that on Friday. So we got... Hey, you have a show at Texas Mist on November 10th. November 10th, we're going to be back in the studio, and we're going to be doing this live <laughs> at Texas Miss. All right, awesome. That's pretty fucking rad. Yeah. Yeah, so, just, I mean, look, what the fuck are you going to do? You got nothing else going on. I got nothing going on, nothing, look at, zero. Look at your broken house. <laughs> like, the house is broken. No, it's like Saturday ass. Saturday ass. You have, you have a dog. Look at your face. No, you, you have a dog in tears. I got a dog in tears. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's all you got. You got nothing. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I appreciate you. Hey, you know what? Come to the show and, and like whatever. Watch him cry. Who needs friends when you have problems? <laughs> all right, man. We're out. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And uh, as I always end the podcast, or don't die mates. <laughs> <laughs> People. Please, 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 try, please try to do the right thing because Lord knows most of you know what that I'm about. We're at peace. See ya. Later. Fuck all you. <laughs> Fucking idiots. We gotta go, man. No.